Speaking of keeping up with what's going on, yes. we, we watched a lot of anime today. We watched a lot of anime this week. It is the new fall season. And so we're going to talk about the new fall season. Um, sadly, I do not have the lower thirds set up for this. We're just going to talk. We're going to go through it. Um, because there's a lot of new anime this fall, which that's the first thing I want to talk yeah. about. I was deathly afraid with COVID that summer and fall yeah. would just be empty. Um, yeah, but they managed thing. to keep up with it. Now, oh. yeah, like I was saying earlier, I actually got onto Fun Animation website and did the trial there, and I was and I was expecting like about three or four mm. you know, titles, yeah. honestly that 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 I would be interested right. in. Mm-hmm. I, I expected there to be about like maybe ten titles total, but between Country Roll and Fun Animation, it was just like, well, I mean, how many hours did they? Yeah, right? yeah. I spent I nine hours watching anime nine. and didn't get through all of it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty yeah. amazing. So we're going to go through in um, more or less random order. This is just kind of what showed up um, on Crunchyroll and Funimation and so forth and so on. Um, and we're going to start with Dogeza I Tried Asking While Kowtowing, which I watched. Oh, oh. I, I see John cringing. Um, I, I read the description of it. It's one of the ones I was waiting to see what you guys would say. Um, <laughs> I'm like, uh, so Steve, I watched this before you came on. Did you? Did you? Have you seen this one? Remind me. Which? Which? Um, so many today. It is literally. It's three minutes. It's an image of a girl. Um, the main character, or the, the the voice, is asking to see her topless over and over again. No, I did not see this. That's oh, what it is. Um, he is asking it's, to see her boobs. It's the topless version to the one where you ask the girl to show you her pansu. Right. Um, <sighs> and so he just does that and does that and does that over and over. And there's a narrator sort of commenting on this overall. Um, no, and, I missed that one. Yeah. Uh, um, the they're... girls do the same thing where if, at first they're like, oh, hey, how are you? And then like, the request goes out, then they're like, oh, you're a horrible pig. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> that kind of thing. Basically. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so it is, it's the it's the top version of the other series that yeah, was it, like this. It, it starts with, it actually starts with a request, um, as I recall, and then you just keep on asking and asking and asking. And eventually she does it, oddly. Um, very cheap animation. It's like just, you know, basically a static image and lip flaps and maybe a little bit of, you know, um, you, know, uh, uh, yeah. you know, nervousness of hands, that kind of stuff. Um, it is clear what it is. It's clear what it's trying to be. Um, cute girl, like <laughs> nice drawing, but yeah. you know what you're in for. Um, moving on to Burn the Witch, the new anime <laughs> series yes. f- uh, based on the manga by Tite Kubo of Bleach. Um, I have kind of mixed feelings about this one. Um, do I? Okay. Yeah, because I love the, the animation. Yeah, I, I love the visuals. I love the animation. Mm-hmm. I don't like any of the characters. There's a lot. There's a the lot anime... to work on that. So, <laughs> yeah, it reminded me very vaguely of God of High School. Some of the mm-hmm. some of the way that the 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 lining of the characters work. Yeah. Um. It. it I'm curious to see where it's going because I mm. didn't have a particular love. I didn't bounce off of the series, but I didn't mm. have a particular great love for anything going on. Mm-hmm. But I was interested yeah. enough that I'd yeah. like to see where it's going to go. Agreed. Yeah. I it, yeah. I thought the an, I, I really liked the animation. Um, it reminded me of Fully Cooley, which is mm. one of my favorite animes of all time. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the first season, the first mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. the original Fully Cooley, mm-hmm. the, the original Fully Cooley. Um, and I liked it. I liked the, the the premise of it was I was okay with. You know, it just felt like you know, what was it like Hogwarts and something else? Um, um, but anyway, I, the thing that it didn't bother me. I was just kind of like going, "Is this how we're gonna like go throughout this? Where they make the guy lick the phone?" Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. Here's this girl, here's this, here's this dark haired girl who's looking, you know, she's, you know, very in control of everything. And there's this guy who's like suddenly nervous and he gets down on his knees and she holds the phone like very imperiously. And I'm like, yeah. going, mm-hmm. this is, I, I thought that, wait a minute, we are 
on a yeah and she, she doesn't hold the phone up I mean, here I, yeah 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 she she, i mean here yeah, it's very suggestive and i, I was just like yeah. going i was like going okay are we really going to go there mm-hmm. um the yeah, actual yes fine, we but, are right? like, <laughs> <laughs> but just but just like you brian said i i really didn't care about I, I didn't hate any of the characters yeah at all but i i just didn't care about them mm-hmm. i just didn't really None of them just grabbed me like the the guy who's walking his dog dragon out. <laughs> yeah, and you know he's and he's flying around. I'm just like going, okay, so you're a moron. Yeah, and the other girl is is just kind of like the level headed one. That and then mm-hmm. you know the the blonde who I'm guessing in the in not reverse London because that's the other mm-hmm. part of it. It's like here's yeah. London and then and here's there's reverse, reverse London. London. Mm-hmm. Here's London and then in real London. I'm guessing she's an idol of some sort because mm. she's model. Yes, always she's part of yeah. a band, a band or mm. singing group thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just kind of like I don't really care about that. I, you know. They but... kind of make the Star Wars Episode Three mistake, um, where um, Episodes One and Two establish the fact that um, uh, Obi Wan and Anakin are like going to start on this journey together. And then we leap to the point where they hate each other or they're fed up with each other. Yeah. And we don't get the middle where we actually see their relationship. You know, we jump into these characters sniping at each other the entire episode. And I, I would have liked to have seen something else to make me understand why I should care about these characters. And I think it, just, it kind of starts in an awkward place for kind of getting getting me into the characters. Um, but like I said, everything else about it was, was um, interesting. Right. Well, and the thing I don't, I, I, just the mechanics of the thing I don't understand yeah. is it was on Crunchyroll, mm-hmm. and there's three episodes just like yeah. off the bat. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's it. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I went, you know, and, and went to my anime list and clicked it off, it said, you know, I've watched this, and, yep. I'm, you know, what are there going to be the next episodes? Mm-hmm. It's just listed as a three episode OVA. Mm-hmm. That's it. So yeah. the, what you get is all you get. Mm hmm. Mm. That can't. I I can't imagine that's right because you know yeah you don't you just dropped into this and it's not even enough of a story really to like blood you've got a little slice mm-hmm. and that gives you enough to work with for that story. This there's clearly the entry character backgrounds mm-hmm. and it doesn't stop the story. It's like oh and there's going to be more. So and. <laughs> the reason what? for that is because the original manga series is being produced in chunks. Um, okay. So uh, he did, I think, okay. four chapters, and then he called he called that season one and stopped. And then they're going to do they're going to do a, a second season of the manga and presumably an anime of that. And so they're they're, they're very deliberately not doing a long form thing, probably okay. because if Bleach, if if there is a strongest you know complaint about Bleach. It's that it went on too long and kind of meandered and really suffered from the yeah. episodic nature. Yeah. So I think they're trying to avoid that as much as possible with this one, um, for better or worse. But so, I mean, I thought it was decent for the three episodes I watched. I thought cool. it was decent enough. I I was hoping it was going to be more. Mm-hmm. So I, yes. Yeah. There right. we go. That's what we get. Mm-hmm. Um, moving on to Dragon Quest: The Adventure of Die. If you have any <laughs> eight-year-old boys in your in your family. This is the one to point them to. Um, it is just it is a fun adventure story about a young boy living with monsters and having his adventures and starting his adventures and adventure and adventure stuff with adventure. Um, you know, it's it's adventurous. Exactly, it is very adventurous. It's an adventurous adventure. <laughs> so it's an adventure to watch this adventure. Yeah. Um, were, were, did, was the adventure adventurously interesting enough for you, adventurers? Adventuring um, into watching it? It, it? I don't know. It was kind of an adventure. Um, ah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the thing is... Because I, I saw the again, cover title picture and I'm like, hot no. <laughs> um, Not happening. It's very inoffensive in the sense that, you know, you yeah. watch it and it's just... <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun action story. You know, the kid's a, a noble young boy who's going to go out and do the right thing. You know, and, and all that kind of stuff. And you know, when bad guys show up, it's pretty darn clear they're the bad guys. You know, it's all yeah. of those things. 
but <laughs> everything about, pretty much. Um, like, yeah. <laughs> but everything about it is is nicely produced, right? There's clearly effort behind yeah. it. There's clearly all that stuff. Um, so it, it it's cute, it's fun, adventure, adventure. Um, if you have a niece, a nephew, son or daughter mm -hmm. that you're trying to wing off of Paw Patrol or some <laughs> other thing that kids are watching these days. This is a good. This is actually, and I'm kind of being serious. This is, excuse me, actually a pretty good um, thing to show them. It's, it's, yeah. it, it. I found it entertaining. I mean, it's not something that obviously I'm going to be like, oh, this is my, the anime. I got to watch it, scene mm -hmm. for scene, episode for episode. But you know, this is it's very entertaining. You don't, you know, you're not going to get bored with it mm -hmm. very easily. And some of it's going to be amusing, like the 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 boy's uh, grandfather who adopted him is basically what I think is just a callus, a walking, talking callus. <laughs> yeah. it, it, but it's funny and it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's interesting, mm -hmm. but it, it is nonstop for, and it's great for a kid, but it is the most adventurous adventure venture time thing that I've seen in a very long, long, long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. um, All right. So you're, you're not, you know, you don't need, it, it's almost like a shot of Ritalin in the anime industry. You know, it's just like going, oh, you guys wow. to go through anime here, watch cool, cool. die. Here you go. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, then moving on to another short one, Grand Blues. Uh, these are short four coma, based on a four coma manga, set in the Grand Blue Fantasy universe, but just comedic shorts. Um, I laughed, which is kind of the point. Um, it has this very odd ball ending um, for, the, for, for the, the short. It's just, you know, fantasy characters roaming around, and then, you know, there's a punchline, basically. Um, yeah. It was cute. It was, it was fun. It was, again, very much meant to be sort of absurdist comedy uh, in the four-coma style. Yeah. Um, I'd say if that appeals to you, try episode one. It, you'll probably, that, that will make it probably very clear whether this is going to be for you or not, you know. Yeah. Um, that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I uh, Grand Blue Fantasy I watched, mm. and I had I had a lot of hope that what I what I was watching was eventually going to end up being like better than than what I found it to be. <laughs> so when I saw that they did this, it's like okay, I like Isekai Quartet. Okay, I thought Isekai Quartet was was great using mm. all the chibi characters and they're doing their thing and. Yeah. That's awesome. It brings in a ton of characters from a you know ton of different series, very well mm. put together, very amusing. And then I saw this came up, and I'm like, I really? I, mm, no, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nope. Yeah. So unless you guys are like, this is the greatest thing in the universe. Uh, yeah. yeah. No. Um, well, it was. It's meant to be filler. So yeah, yeah definitely. Kind of, um, yeah. Moving on to I'm Standing on One Million Lives, one of the oh, yeah. Isekai series from this uh, this time. Um, yep. I, I, it made I, me laugh. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting. Um, I like the sort of funny idea behind it. Um, the idea of the yeah, the main character shows up and his, uh, you know, his his ability, spoiler alert, is is not to be the great <laughs> hero of the world. Um, but it's rare. It's rare. It's which rare. Right? Ability exactly. is very, <laughs> very, very rare. Learn his ability. You go. How is that rare in this <laughs> world? How? What? I, what? Well, one of the characters comments I mean, it's, on it. It's, it's like, kind of it's kind of a good point though. It's like yeah. you think about every other isekai. Somebody goes in and they're rare. Like make my ability mm -hmm. as average in the in my next life. Yeah, yeah. She is extremely rare. Mm -hmm. So is he. It's yeah. just completely <laughs> different circumstances, exactly. which I thought was quite a brilliant way to go. Yes, with that. agreed. Um, that's what made me. That's what made me laugh through the whole mm -hmm. thing as they're fighting the goblins and and just <laughs> she, she takes the sword. She goes, "Yeah, <laughs> at the goblin." I'm like, well, and I'm intrigued by the premise because you have this idea. Um, I like the fact that they're sort of bouncing back and forth between the real world and the sky world. Yes. 
Um, yes. It's a, a welcome change. Pretty cool. um, and I like the fact that there are stakes, but that the characters think through the stakes. It's not like, you know, um, you'll have these various anime series where, you know, um, you fail the game and you die. Um, yep. And everyone suddenly... SAO. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, or like, you know, you have a smartphone, it chooses you, and you're in the real world, but you have to fight to the death, whatever. Um, yeah. And often characters don't like really think through the consequences of that. Um, you know, they don't make preparations for it or anything like that. Um, they're just kind of like, oh, well, I guess I'm in the game. I'm going to go to the convenience store now. Eh. Um, whereas in this, I like the fact that the character is like, okay, you know, given our limitations, what should we do next? You know, and right. um, given who, are, you know, yeah, and, yeah, who's who's smartest, who's most skilled, how should we balance all that kind of stuff? Um, yeah. And like how he learns, he goes, oh, so, you know, I can die without consequence and myself and get mm -hmm. killed and come back 30 seconds later. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just get myself killed as many times. But then he, he learns, <laughs> oh, wait, there is real death involved if mm -hmm. team All members of, of the members yeah. of the team also mm -hmm. die, then everybody dies. And what I like about that is that because we know they're going to get more members later, the, the danger mm -hmm. of that is going to get lower. Which right. then is going to change their tactics, which then might also make them more, yeah. uh, you know, more aggressive. Which can then, but you know, so it's it's a neat, you know, thing to, to throw into there. I think. Which interesting. Like, having, yeah. having come off of Rental Girlfriend and mm. then just loathing the male <laughs> protagonist <laughs> in Rental Girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine you like this guy a lot better. Mm. I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm sticking with this because I like the novel approach. I, mm. I like the, the, the consequences yeah. of your isekai experience that it, it, you, you're, but you're, you know, you're not in one world only. Mm -hmm. You're in two worlds. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. we have yet to see what the consequences are in their home world. Yeah. We know what happened. We've gotten some, you know, exposition of what happens in the world of the game mm -hmm. and, you know, what death means there, what it means to do the quests and to mm. level up. But we have no idea what the consequences are in the home world. Are mm -hmm. they allowed to tell people about this? Mm. Is this something that's like mm -hmm. a game violation? If you mm -hmm. share this information on social media, we have no idea mm -hmm. what the home world consequences are to the gate, the isekai world mm -hmm. consequences. So the, but I just hate the male protagonist. I'm like, oh, you're doing this to me again. You know, his whole like, oh, I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. And, uh, I, I hate this city. Uh, it's like, uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, and, and, oh, and, my. And at least I get a so, sense I, that there's some progression there. That oh, there better you know, be. Because yeah. he stays this way, I'm just going <laughs> to throat punch somebody. <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> Well, you know, also I, the, the thing that made me chuckle was the Doctor Manhattan with that with half yeah. the head mm -hmm. and incomplete sentences. It's like, is this the yeah. beta test of right. the entire world or something? <laughs> You've gotten past the alpha, so things kind of sort of work, but you're like your in-game navigating avatar is like only mm -hmm. half complete. <laughs> What's going on here? I well, don't have a lot of confidence complete. in how this works. He's, he's, <laughs> like, you know, you're clearly something, yeah. something missing. So I wonder if you it, have if to gonna complete a quest. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, well right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to our place of. <laughs> yeah. Like, ow. <laughs> that was more. Yeah, more. Just finish the damn oh, sentence. Actually, I, I finish the sentence. <laughs> that might be their question when they finish the quest. Can you please talk in mm. complete yeah. sentences? Mm. Because that's that's the reward, right? You you right. they are able to ask him one question after they complete the quest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, moving on to sport climbing girl. Yes. Oh, well, did you did you guys the like one it? One sports anime of the season, I think. Um, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it is very much a Fair. sports anime. Uh, yeah. I will also Which say I, hope. I was shocked. They are not the worst team in the league um, right that did not come up oh, oh. So they're just a, a club yeah. um right. basically girl who has no particular no particular like um pull to any particular uh uh club in her school sees the rock climbing club um and is intrigued and goes over and tries it out and this is the story of her kind of doing uh, you know getting in yeah. with, with a club 
Um, I like the how. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, and the team is is a good mesh of varying skill levels. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, which makes it kind of like you know, okay, not everybody sucks except for the one person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they make it clear that there are different types of climbing events, and you start to figure out who's who's good at what, and mm-hmm. it's. I have other reasons, but go ahead, Brett. You're you're gonna say something. I was just gonna say I I, I like the fact so right. in every given sports story, um, you know the protagonist is supernaturally good at their their thing, um, whether they know it or not. They know it or not exactly. <laughs> um, and I like the fact that given the fact that she's never done this before, um, spoiler alert: the reason she's she's good at it is because she was a big video game player because like puzzle games and like puzzle action games. So yeah. it actually shows the, the rock climbing wall as like um, uh, Candy Crush um, right. or, or you know, one of those, those oh. different games. Like, okay, make a trail here, make a trail here, this connects there, this connects right. there. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, so mm-hmm. and so the, 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 the reasons why I'd, I'd like this one and um, Brent got to hear my commentary during the yeah. thing periodically. It just blurred out crap out of my mouth uh, while watching it. Crap! Uh, crap! Crap! No. Um, crap! Crap! The, 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 um, I never really myself was able to do bouldering that well. Mm. That was something yeah. that I was inter- inter- I'm actually interested in that. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually, way back in my retail days, you know, worked for, you know, uh, outdoor stores. And so I sold right. that, that equipment. Mm. So, you know, the, and the worked with walls and stuff like that. And it's just, it was really interesting when you're bringing up the gaming thing, because there are paths mm-hmm. and each one, as they point out is colored. So you can kind of figure out, you know, what you need to do in order to get to the next level. And mm-hmm. she's really good at it, but it was just interesting to watch something that wasn't actualized. That wasn't, yeah. um, uh, this is if you're if you're looking for big boobs, you ain't gonna get it here. <laughs> I mean, some of the characters <laughs> have big boobs, but they're not. You know, well, I was gonna say yeah, the yeah. the cover art for it was <laughs> yeah. initially yeah. what what I saw yeah. it came up as a new series. I'm like, yeah. um, yeah, huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's it's definitely I, I liked it. Yeah, I I'd, I'd, I'd continue liking it. I'd continue to watch it, but I think that's more along the lines of that's something I know about. Mm-hmm. So, it, but it's definitely more. It's definitely more sports oriented. Yeah. It's not yes, sort of the not... relaxing elements of rock Ooh, climbing. It's no, the it, it, it's it's no, it is it's competitive. very competitive. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Well, well, the whole premise of the episode is whether or not she even gets into the to the team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. I was going to say, because I was looking for something that would be like a nice, you know, just something just simple, relaxing to watch and mm. a non-competitive kind of thing. So I was, okay, no, now yeah. I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know what knowing is, right? Half the battle. Yeah. Half, Half the, the battle. battle. Exactly. Um, Go, Joe. So, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I will say the animation is is um, solid, effective. You know, I, I can't recall any sequences where I was like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that. Uh, partly because yeah. it's rock climbing, like, I, there's not too much you can do, um, but it's fun. Uh, it's cute. Um, there is definitely. Um, I mean, they're climbing in you know spandex, so there's right. definitely that aspect to it if you want to go there. But none of it C- is C- CGI supported or just all drawn. Not that I saw. It was all hand drawn. Uh, yeah, I don't recall seeing any. You know. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, moving on to Jujutsu Kaisen. One of the sort of older shonen series um, of this, definitely in the sort of um, uh, bleach sort of territory, supernatural yes. action, yeah, kind of territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And Big it's time. pretty much that. It's you know weird creatures. Main character is, becomes aware of them, has to fight them off, but with a twist at the end of that first episode, um, in terms of. Uh, what the character does in pursuit of of goals that turned out to be a bad idea. Um, Murder everyone? Uh, no. This is episode, so, We're okay. heading... so, so I, I will say, so, so, so. For, 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 for season previews, I like to say anything in episode one is fair game. Because that's the kind of thing that would be on the back yeah. of the box. So I think it's fair to, to, to reveal the, the, and this is clearly the premise of the, of the show, is that 
Um, the, the, the main character is very much this sort of heroic shonen character, you know, save people in need and so forth. And he, yeah. without ruining it too much, it's Ichigo. It, it, it's Ichigo. Uh, he just <laughs> is, and he um, he does something that uh, causes him to um, become more than one person. <laughs> um, so there is, uh, he's not the only person inside yeah. his body anymore. Um, and th th that is clear to be a very bad thing in this world, in this, this scenario. Uh, you don't want other creatures inside your body, uh, particularly this one. Um, so, it, so is it actually somebody, or did he just like... Well, it is somebody. Have a schizophrenic break. Yeah, no, 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 it, it is somebody. No, 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 it is somebody. Him. Yes. Is there a um, scene where the somebody is wearing like these really weird sunglasses that say like Rook or something on it, and they're looking at a girl across so. the street? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think no. Because I, I saw that. I saw like a meme that was made by somebody, and it had okay. the dark haired looking protagonist and a pink haired dude next to him, who okay. was wearing like these weird glasses. Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Mm. Uh, yeah, but, um, but okay. Definitely, you know, if if you're into that sort of supernatural action shonen thing, that's that what you're gonna get. And oh my gosh, like the action animation in this was m stunning. Um, you know, it's good. The fight sequences, people are, you know, and, and it has that sort of kinetic action where people are, you know, launching themselves over things and grabbing somebody and throwing them that kind of stuff. Uh. It's all that stuff is there. It's it's really cool. Um, it's one of those things where again, if um, if that kind of appeals to you at all, this will probably be right down your line. Okay. Um, cool stuff. And some good comedy. Like like some actually some fun it, comedy. Funny it. moments, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it knows when to be light and when not to be. I'll put it that way. Uh, moving on to, um, uh, to Noblesse, which is... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> which is... Um, yeah, you're all the description of that one. Uh, okay. Gay uh, Frankenstein. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, it it's it was uh, actually I got hyped at the very beginning of it because as they're going through it as the doing the intro, mm -hmm. it was actually the intro song is done by Hyde from Lord mm -hmm. Cell, and yeah, I'm a big fan of that of them and him. So I was just like, oh, my God. And usually his music is attached to something, mm. to things that are, with the exception of DNA squared, um, is usually attached to good anime. Um, Triggered. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> um, you work for Trigger? But, yeah, I wish. <laughs> but... Uh, but no, it, it 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 got into it, and then it just it you know, pretty boys in their late twenties and early thirties, mm -hmm. a school, and there's a lot of squeeing girls with cameras taking pictures of these guys, and you come to find out one of them is over eight hundred years old, mm -hmm. and he portrays himself as a student, but he's very posh and. Mm -hmm. And, and, and there's just a very strong Yahweh vibe to oh, yeah. all of this. Mm -hmm. And ah. and it's 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 and it's it's not not in an offensive way or anything okay. like that or you know, any you know anything bad. It it's just it's just it just feels like it's going in that direction. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has a very light and, touch in that respect. Uh, yeah, very light. actually yeah, that's a good way of putting it. It's a very light touch. But you can definitely notice that, oh, we're kind of going in that direction. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, there's it, – it, but there's really good action at the beginning well, of it. that's the thing is it's like three different anime at once. Like there's so, a yeah. supernatural action thing. There's a um, trying to fit in as a student at a school thing. There's mm. a I'm a secret agent in this secret organization thing, um, and you just there's not lot. and they're not really focusing on any of those. They're just kind of picking away at each one throughout the course of the episode. Um, it also doesn't help huh. that this is apparently made at production IG, um, but it is not the A team, and it doesn't even seem like the B team. Um, other than the action mm. animation, which is nicely done, everything else is literally just folks standing around that flaps. 
Like, there's very little in the way of actual motion or anim- animation at all. Um, which so, feels so with all those different parts, three things thrown to one, is this too many? Too, well, too many cooks make a spoil the stew. Yeah, yeah. Too many stews and no good cooks. Is this kind of that kind of thing where it's like it's not successfully yeah, doing yeah, yeah. any one of those things? It's hard to tell. It also doesn't help that they released a a one episode ONA like half hour that is sort of the the prequel starting story to all of this. Apparently, when like the, the guy wakes up, the eight hundred year old guy wakes up and. All the story around that, and that's basically okay. like episode zero of the TV series. So you come yeah. in, and you're supposed to know all yeah. that. Yeah, you, there's some prior knowledge that you need to have to to really understand some of this stuff. Yeah. Read the book before you watch the anime. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, actually, that's it's um, it's a little bit off putting, and it is a little bit confusing, and it's just mm-hmm. feels like a hot mess. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and. Right. I can certainly see it getting interesting. Um, it has interesting elements in it. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the characters I like, I like the fact that one of the characters is in this sort of awkward position, is kind of trying to find himself, of kind of what his role is going to be in the society mm-hmm. and all these, you know, all these things. Um, and clearly kind of has a good heart and has a, you know, he's trying to do the right thing, but he just doesn't know what right is in these scenarios. Um, so I, th- that's an interesting direction they could take it. Um, but yeah, but will it, they have enough time with all yeah. with you know with all the things that are wrapped That's around it to pursue a right. coherent, yeah, single story? It also felt to me kind of like I remember watching like episode nine of Fushigi Yugi, and being like, I don't know what any of this is going on, and I kind of bounced off the right. the, the, the franchise because of that. Um, because it was the exactly the wrong point in which to you know learn anything right. about that that franchise because a lot going on. Who knows. Um, okay. interesting. interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, moving on to that is the bottleneck, uh, which I'm gonna have to look up <laughs> a little bit here. Um, that is the bottleneck. Yeah. So this is another <laughs> sort of sure. I love it. Four coma, you know, oddball humor style. Um, it uh, actually, when uh, I'm looking through the, uh, the the image search. Uh, one of the if you like this watch that things is Nichi Joe, as sort of a you know similar oh. in in approach. Um, it's just very oddball humor, I would say. It is, it is very. Um, God, I had to explain it. Yeah, I just loved it from, from the whole thing. I, I I snickered through the whole thing, mm-hmm. and it's I think part of it is is that you're that some of the stuff that you'll only appreciate if you've ever worked those kinds of jobs before. Retail, and yeah. it's it's a retail. So if you work retail, you're definitely gonna get this. If you if you have watched way back in the day, Clerks, there's gonna be elements of that in mm-hmm. there that you're gonna be like, oh okay, I get it. That's kind of funny. Mm-hmm. And just the, the storyline about one particular character whose face you never ever see. <laughs> Goes along in tandem with a character whom you don't know if you're ever going to see again, mm-hmm. who you think is the main character, mm. and and then you know it's that's all I'm going to say about it because you, it, and again it's only like what three and a half yeah. four minutes long, but it's got a great outro song by a mm-hmm. band whose name I cannot pronounce. It's kind of <laughs> like this long, mm-hmm. but it's it's a great. It reminds me a little bit of uh, what was it Zealander P. The Zealander P or P Zealander, something like that. That band, yeah. mm-hmm. um, but uh, it, it's it. If you want a good filler, just something to chuckle at and not have to mm-hmm. think too hard about. Mm-hmm. This yep. is it. Mm-hmm. That is the bottleneck. Um, and sort of flash animation style, you know, very much that kind of, yeah. kind of very, very okay thing. Um, oh. next one is Tony Kawa over the moon for you. Um, one of the sort of the, the, the romance series of the of, of the thing, I I like this one a lot actually. Um, really? Yeah. Oh wow. I, I, okay. I really enjoyed this. It was very sweet. Um, hmm. Boy sees girl, is interested in girl, um, and then Truck Coon comes along, and <laughs> and hits him, um, but he's miraculously saved by the girl, um, and then. Um, Pursues a relationship with her, basically, and doesn't want her to, to, to go away. And then they get married. Um, having episode. seen a yeah, first episode, um, it's the fastest marriage in anime. Every, 
No. Uh, well, it might be. It might well, that, be. I, I li- there was a my anime list uh, mm. posting last week mm-hmm. that gave out like various various series. They're like this mm-hmm. one episode was like ten episodes. This mm-hmm. one was like thirty four to marriage, mm-hmm. and they're like the fastest marriage in anime. Episode one, <laughs> that show, Tony Kawa. I'm like, yeah. oh, well, there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of Please Teacher. Anyway. Um, that might we be talked about this yeah, last yeah, week. It, 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 it was like it, episode it, it, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're got, right. They you're got right. hit. Um, anyway, um, there is clearly more going on. Right? Like oh, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's clearly something going on there. But it's it's this is one of those situations where if you've watched enough anime to appreciate that to know okay there's going to be more twists this is obviously sort of a rom com situation, yeah. um, the way they interact was very sweet. Like I I bought their relationship as something that I could I could believe the two of them want to spend time with each other, um, and the overall pacing. And you know the, the the comedy beats and so forth. I thought um, flowed very nicely. Um, you know, it remains to be seen where the plot goes, and I think that's going to be sort of the, the big question. Um, but what I I, yeah. I I saw was a very sweet rom com. What I saw was a on one level a sweet rom com, and I'm just waiting for them for Seiya to pop out of the uh, the woodwork and start <laughs> doing a hack <laughs> job yeah. on the wife. Mm. Yeah, no. Um, it, it it was sweet. The, the, you're right. The, the way they the, they interacted and how they wound up together, in you know, by the end of the episode, and how they get married actually, but yeah. during the course they of the episode, show quite a lot of that. And I thought that. Yeah, at the like yeah. midnight and marriage registration desk. Registration desk, <laughs> right? Heaven help you should have to go talk yeah. to anybody at like the courthouse after four PM and apparently Japan in the middle of the night you can get well, service for marriage registration. Well, like damn you know, This is why this is why the entire time I was watching it, I was just like going, There's more to this. She's a monster of some type yeah, and it's gonna come out at some I'm point. Sure. In in some in some rom com fashion. Mm-hmm. I just I liked it because it made me laugh and the, like <laughs> As soon as he steps off the curb, and truck coon, you know, <laughs> nails him, <laughs> and the rest from that point on, I just, I was just laughing because, you know, here he is, he he, he gets back up, and the, there's this whole conversation between him and the truck driver who hit him. <laughs> and the truck driver is just like, no, you really should go to the hospital. I feel yeah. bad about this. You really should. No, I'm gonna go find her. And she he actually just goes, oh, <laughs> we're just down the street on broken legs. I mean, yeah, so and the, like, and the uh, driver just then apparently leaves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if nobody's dead, I'm not at fault here. Hey, <laughs> here we go. I also thought it was cute, mm-hmm. and the protagonist again is thumb in my eye. Okay, <laughs> I'm just like. Why can't we have and, uh, you know I, I get the whole premise of the of the, the goofiness of their initial meeting and the, like, how that happens, but it's just like it's at a moment in time where it's like I would like an actual protagonist who sees the girl across the street and the truck goes by and then she's gone and then it like bothers him and he's like an adult and he's actually able to like sort of internalize some of his his dialogue about gosh, she was so beautiful. I, I really think I love her. How could you love her? You only just saw her. Some kind of dialogue like that versus getting hit by truck coon and then being like, let's get married. Be like, oh, <laughs> brain injury hurt you here. <laughs> um, the what you know, the, the story that's going to come out of this that I really want to know and that's going to mm-hmm. drive me to watch this. It's not him. It's her. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Because, yeah, in my own mind, it's, there's one track that's. She is the daughter of the, you know, greatest conglomerate ever. Mm. And she has like billions of dollars and she has to be responsible and marry the other conglomerate son. But she said, no, I want to live my mm-hmm. life. And she ran away from home and she just a thumb in her parents. eye because I just mm. like using thumbs and eyes. Mm. Um, she gets married. <laughs> ha ha. Take that mm-hmm. rich family. And now he suddenly finds out he's the the male heir apparent to a super giant conglomerate. Mm-hmm. And I go. That's okay. That's track one. Mm-hmm. Track two, and it was just looking at her hair color. I'm like, is that Unigasai? Oh no. Mm-hmm. Is this going to be 
Mirai Nikki. No. Is she, you know what I mean? But, but that's, you know, what I'm, in the back of my head, I'm like, is this like some kind of thing where it's like she's homeless and she's penniless. Mm. And so she's she has found a willing sucker mm-hmm. so that their interaction's really sweet. Are you going? Are we going to find out in this that it's really sweet because she has practiced this a lot to find the right person mm. to to like latch onto and mooch housing, food, etc. from, mm-hmm. and to disappear from something terrible that had happened. So now she uses his name and she disappears. Mm. And I'm like, oh, I hope it's the track where she's an so, heiress. I hope it's not like really something <laughs> really <laughs> like. Do you want me to tell you? The manga, oh. the manga at least, not the anime. The, the the part of the manga which is clearly different than the anime. Oh, I don't. Oh God, having the you know, it's like I want to know, so I watch to the yeah. end of the anime. We'll and, and again, clearly the, the anime takes a different tack than the manga. But I can tell you what the what the manga did. Okay, well, I, yeah, I can live with that. Um, it's actually kind of what you wanted. Um, in 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 the manga, <laughs> um. He gets hit by a truck. Um, beautiful girl saves him. He confesses his love. Um, she says, you know, I'll, I'll be your girlfriend, but only if we're married first. Um, and then they separate. He doesn't, right. he is, he is in a sexual relationship with him. She shows up when he is, um, oh, this is, this, is the same, this, is, this is the same plot. I apologize. I was confusing with a different story. Um... Let's see here. Um, well, you spent nine hours watching it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, do 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 do. Um, there does not appear to be anything else going on in the manga. What? Yeah. No. No rich running away from the family. Nothing. Nope. Oh. They she just shows up, and is like, "Let's do this," and they get married, and it becomes about them getting used to being a married couple. How oddly sweet and innocent! I know, it's very <laughs> weird. Because I don't I, know how to feel about that. I was thinking in my head <laughs> that she shows up very quickly, but I forgot. Yeah, there's a time skip where he he turns yeah. eighteen. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, so presumably like they both thought about it and she's been thinking about it. And so she shows up. I don't know. Now, granted, this is, this is Wikipedia. So there may be more going on there, um, behind the scenes, but I don't know. We'll see if it goes. Well, I'm, I'm going to watch it, even though, like I said, Mm -hmm. I don't like him, but I'm going to watch it because I really, I want to know about her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean, she of the two characters, she is the one that interests me most because mm-hmm. I want to know what her motivation is. Yeah, mm-hmm. his is goofy, love it. Well, yeah, you know? he, I want a girl. <laughs> pretty, pretty simple on that. Look, yeah. attractive person. I'll yeah. go over there. Uh, I want to make a T-shirt with that with that phrase. <laughs> goofy love idiot. That is brilliant. I love it. I love it. You could wear that at the next <laughs> point, at the next concert or I, 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 Oh. I... <laughs> That needs to be in the um, uh, the next album title, Goofy Love Idiot. <laughs> that needs to be on Anime Trope Bingo. Like that is just one of them, like right there. Um, uh, all right. So speaking of fun, um, with a dog and cat, every day is fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh? Uh, another four coma based thing, a couple minutes long, um, <laughs> contrasting what a dog is like versus what a cat is like. Uh, that concept very much um i laughed you know I laughed i cried it was a cat video <laughs> it was a cat video <laughs> so one of these like a nice lunch time is it like 12 minute four minute i think it's just like three, three. or four yeah okay so it's just like three or four minutes. if you got yeah. nothing to do while you're waiting for your ramen to finish up yep it's just something cute, cute yeah. to throw on mm-hmm. actually that's about how long it is honestly yeah. i yeah, think that's go. about how long it is to, to, to wait for a ramen oh, yep okay there we are. Perfect. Sweet. Right. Um, yeah, exactly that. Um, all right. Let's move on to one of the two most anticipated anime series of the season. Yasha Hime. This is the Inuyasha sequel yes. series. 
And Steve and I talked about this a little bit. We found the first episode a little frustrating, not for any bad reasons, but for the fact that uh-huh. we're introduced to our new protagonist, and then we cut to the cast of the original Inuyasha, basically. And the whole first episode is basically them, you know, doing stuff. Yeah. Um, it's like 90%, it's like 90% Sango, Kagome, Moroku, mm-hmm. uh, Shibo. Mm-hmm. In like the, it's, in it's, like a very it's... obvious, hey guys, just in case you forgot, yes. here's all of our, what exactly. these people are. Well, yes. actually, yep. the, the, the title of the episode is happened or something like yeah. that it, it, mm. it actually the title of the episode, uh, episode is and this happened or something like mm. that it, but it's clearly alluding to okay we know here's the end of the series and you're probably wondering how all this is playing out right. mm-hmm. so this is the story that we're going to give you yeah and it's okay you know who's together and it is you, and you yasha yeah yeah who ended up together yeah. all that kind of stuff and you know, who has kids who doesn't have kids all that stuff yeah. Um, it, I mean, I'm assuming it's also not only for old school fans catching up. Yes. It's also for new introduction people mm-hmm. that are like, oh, I'd heard about this Inuyasha yeah. thing that now they are like, oh, those are who all those people are. Right. And they're they're does, fresh yeah. to move into a new story. Yes, I got you. exactly. Okay. Um, okay. And so it was yeah. a little, and, and the the structure of it is you get sort of the protagonist in the opening scene mm-hmm. and then you cut away from that and then – you know, the final scene is the protagonist and the other characters from the new series, you know, introduced. Okay. Um, and yeah. I wanted more of them because, you know, I've, I've seen enough Inuyasha, I know who those characters are. But it was, yeah, right. they could not have done it any other way, right? The fans would have yeah. torn yeah. down Tokyo if they'd done anything else. They were ripped into shreds. Right, yeah. exactly. It was just it was how you had to um, um, So as a, as, a, as a fan of Inuyasha, yeah. I was actually pretty happy with it because, you know, you again you get you get a definitive here's yeah. what happened at the end of the series here's who they are this is where they are in their lives mm-hmm. as it's told at that point and then you're introduced literally just introduced to the three new characters who are all called the princesses um and each one of them is different and the only one there's only one that has any real connection to old Inuyasha series right. uh, being, being being a daughter and the other two I don't think are connected to the group the the, the, the band yeah, that, that was in, in yeah. Inuyasha before. they're totally new characters mm-hmm. but because it's it's done by um, uh, Rumiko um, see she uses the same designs over and over and over and over yeah, again. Right, so you, you, see, you see these very very interesting designs but like for example you see Kohaku you see you see Sashomaru yeah, uh, you see them all. You see them all. Yep. And then it gets into the story, and you and I think what's going to play out is that probably for the next few episodes they're going to go back and forth. Is my is my yeah. guess? Mm-hmm. What continue the story of what happened with in, in Yasha group, and then right. tailing it finally mm-hmm. to what this these three girls are going to be doing. Yep. Well, if it was ninety yeah. ten, I wonder if it's mm-hmm. for three episodes. It's to be ninety ten. Then seventy five twenty five, yeah. then fifty fifty, and then yeah, then, yeah. then forget you know <laughs> 50, once you hit fifty fifty, just go or launch the remainder of it. Yeah, which honestly is not like a bad it. way to, to introduce people. It's Absolutely. not terrible. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and it was yeah. really I, nice. I, I just oh, please. No, go ahead. Is it, and it, it was really nice to see the gang together right. fighting. Like you know, yeah. that, that's just fun to see. It's also funny. There's um, there's a brief flashback to like episode one of original Inuyasha, um, and it's it's like it is the animation of the original. They didn't reanimate it or anything. Um, wow, which is kind of kind of odd to see. Yeah. Um, and then seeing the new version and like it, you know, it's obviously different in terms of like color palette and just generally how it's done. But it didn't feel like oh my gosh how how much time has changed. It's just like right. oh okay that's just a you know slightly different style. And now we have, have this version. Um, it, it matches up very well. Familiar like a new but favorite shoe. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Thumbs and, up. Yeah, absolutely. Fun. And adventure. And you need more adventure. Adventure. There's more adventure. <laughs> adventure, um, yes. Yes. Speaking of which, uh, our last crusade 
um, which is the story of a, uh, a young man trying to stop a magic war um, against a um, group of witches, uh, which one clearly wants to stop the magic war as well, um, and is, yes, yes. is sort of the, the I don't know what you call this. Um, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, I mean, it's Romeo and Juliet. Um, <laughs> but it, it's that, yeah. you know, um, magic fighting magic thing. You know, of I have the magic circle and it shoots, you know, blasts of things at, at you. Yeah. It's, it's more military war as opposed to uh, other stuff. Um, and that's actually one of the things that I, I, I liked about it is that it is weaponized magic um, in this very military context. Um, mm. So it's, it's not something you kind of normally see. Um, but it's, it's Romeo and Juliet, uh, very much so. Um, yeah. And it yeah. will... I did appreciate the fact that you have all very active characters, except for the captain leader Loli girl, who I am very <laughs> concerned about because she seems like a complete Useless. dingbat. But, you know. But, you know, what, what reminded me of her, that character was um, uh, Test, uh, it was Tessa Tessarosa. Fr- from, yeah, Tessa Tessarosa. Of, uh, yeah. From um, Full Metal Panic. Uh, uh, full Metal Panic, You're right. Panic. where You're right. she is extremely capable and a tactical genius mm-hmm. and fully deserving of her as, of her position as a mm-hmm. captain. Yep. But get her out of the captain's chair, <laughs> she's just like, ah, help. Um, <laughs> yep. Very true. So, you know, for this first episode, yeah, I share that kind of feeling like, your captain's yeah. an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously you're making this really clear point on her, on her like, complete idiocy that at some mm-hmm. point in time you're going to be like, yeah, she's totally, but, and then you're going to get that payoff, I hope. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> yeah. You're going to take time with a character. You better pay off, damn it. Better not just let her just sort of drift off while you're going off with Romeo and Juliet here. Mm-hmm. And my sense of that particular character is everyone else is just like, okay, we're going to do this, that, and the other thing, and you, run that way. <laughs> Try. Yeah. Girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, stand back as support and do whatever you do support. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> while the rest of us fight. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll I... be OP over here, and you be like helpless over there. Mm-hmm. Awesome. <laughs> um, I'm glad you brought up being OP because that is one of the I think um, potential issues with the series. Whenever you have magic fighting magic, is you have no idea of scale. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if we're gonna get any sense of danger in a lot of this stuff. Um, which is kind of important in, in war stories. Uh, so I'm hoping they, they figure that out um, uh, more clearly. Well, just in that initial combat, mm-hmm. you don't have a sense. Like, people are getting, like, little bolts of electricity from a, from a gun. Mm-hmm. It, like, hits them, and there's, like, a bzzz. So it's like, okay, did you taser them? Mm. Are they dead is this like right, a bolt of yeah. lightning and they're dead dead or oh, yeah. is what you know what, what are the consequences to your to your throwing a golem up right can it crush you to death mm-hmm. or does it do the magically impossible here's like a 50 ton stone fist <laughs> slams you into the ground <laughs> like uh like our little panda bear fan uh, friend there in panda <laughs> and the white serpent nails you into the ground like like a stake and then you go Oh, oh, I'm dazed. You're like, right, yeah. There should be a smear. You're not dazed. You're dead. So mm-hmm. yeah. that's you know that's what you're saying. It's like the scale. You don't know what mm-hmm. are we doing. How's yeah. this, how does this all play out ultimately? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, and that's but the thing. I'm gonna watch I this. Just, I, yeah. I like Shakespeare. I'm gonna watch it. Sure. Yeah. yeah I, I I don't know. I think I'll give this one a pass. I I laughed at it for but not for any good reasons. I just uh, <laughs> you know. The, the, Part of what I found, the, the one thing I found interesting was the combination of modern and archaic with yeah. the with yeah. the big the use and, and using the military hardware. Mm-hmm. I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. And, you know, the premise of it is, is you know, whatever. But by the end of it, when she's sobbing in the, in the you know, in the, watching the opera, I was like going, okay, wait a minute. Isn't the front of this massive 100-year war, like, right over there? Mm-hmm. Now you're dressed up and... You're here. You're neutral city, which is right in the in middle of two city. warring yeah. nations. Like... Right. And and meanwhile, why does almost every single female character 
Yeah. Mm. Except for her, or except for her maid. Right. Her, her maid. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Like, mm. For the maid. Hmm. Okay. Like um, yeah. yeah. I'm just kind of like, it's, you know, wow. I've, I've, I think, I, Brad, I was saying to you, I, was, I felt like I, my, my, like they were coming through the screen and beating me <laughs> in the face. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mm. Ah, so mission accomplished. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> and we get a, yeah. and, and we get, you know, a, a, a bathing scene in episode yeah. one. Like, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, which um, was unnecessary in the extreme. Uh, I I I disagree. I think that was a very necessary, very uh, necessary and important scene to see her in her it, bath. It is the absolute <laughs> pivot point. <laughs> <for me. laughs> well, d- uh, remind me: does the first episode have them go to eat after the opera? No. Oh. Okay. Why? Things get stupider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Great. So, Okay. They, they just get stupid. Good to know. Let's put it this way: when you, um, I won't say what they say, but mm. I will say that when you decide to really, you know, with with obviously body type and story, how they're running the story, mm-hmm. you have your two uh, warring faction lead characters mm-hmm. saying exactly the same thing at the same time with a food order that is very very particular. Mm. And is like more than oh no ten ten seconds or more of how to describe an order of some food, and they both repeat it at the same time in the same pace. Mm-hmm. And that's not the first time it happens. Episode two, it happens oh. twice. And it's like, oh, I I got you. I know they're 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 yes, really I, similar. Yeah. I c- understood that part. You do really need to hit me with that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So yeah, yeah, it gets dumber, but it's still it was. <laughs> it gets dumber but i still yeah. i was entertained i was yeah. genuinely entertained yeah. I'm, I'm not going to give sure. it like a masterpiece grade rating but, you know, sure. it will entertain me during lunch and that's mm-hmm. fine that's all i need speaking of entertaining um by the grace of the gods um another technically isekai series about an 11 year old boy out in the middle of nowhere uh with yep. tons and tons of slimes all around him yeah. um and you get to see his story. Interesting pacing on this one. Um, it definitely it starts out as this kind of simple, okay, there's this kid out here. He's obviously unusually talented or skilled with this. And you get the twist halfway through that he's actually Isekai'd. Um, and he's just kind of trying to live. This is, the you know, so many Isekai characters are trying to be the hero. And um, I appreciate with this, he's just trying to live a morally decent life. You know, he's just trying to go out there, have a life in which he can kind of have a hobby in a way that doesn't hurt anyone else. Yep. There we go. Um, his, 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 his most important thing that, that I took away was, hey... I want the time for me mm-hmm. to be able to do what I want instead of being time for others. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a master this of his fun. own slimy world. Yeah, exactly. Of his own slimy. <laughs> and, and, and I could have done without the excrement. excrement yeah. Uh, I, I, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's what didn't really need to know about yeah. that one. That one we could have inferred. Dish, or, dish cleaning you know, slime. About. That would have been a fine point to draw the line. <laughs> point to draw, right, right, exactly. You know, what you do in the in the, in the the cupboard there mm-hmm. with the cleaning slime, mm-hmm. none of us need to know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we were fine without that. Um, I, I'll, I will be interested to see how this is because I yeah. swear it was I thought it was an announcement for an mm. anime that was earlier this year mm. where it was Another isekai, and it was a girl and her yeah. friend go to another world. Mm-hmm. And she is, she doesn't want to be the protagonist. She doesn't right. want to be the main hero character. So the friend goes off to be wildly popular hero doing things. And all she wants to do is just like just live, like live in a house and just mm-hmm. be normal. Mm-hmm. And I don't know whether that, did you guys, was, is that a series that launched or is that still I think somewhere? I think that's next season or I think it's, it's okay. in the future. Because yeah, that's yeah. what I was kind of hoping yeah. this was going to be. It was like yeah. it was not going to de- – nece- not in a bad way, but it wasn't mm-hmm. going to really necessarily develop into adventure stuff. Mm-hmm. It was going to be my simple life in the woods and the yeah. encounters of people who come in the woods, and I stay in the woods. Mm-hmm. 
yeah. versus, you know, now I get to leave everything I've put together or all the stuff I've worked on and mm -hmm. I go off and do stuff. Now, yeah. that said, the tone of the opening and ending theme suggests that it's definitely more relational. It's more about him interacting with all these different characters. Um, you know, you have the cat yeah. girl harem thing. Right. Weird with yeah, I know um, with that. And, but, and, a, and the young version of the priestess yeah. from um, – Goblin Slayer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I was like, uh, oh my god, yeah. no, is it? <laughs> like... um, <laughs> look at the feeling there's going to be something, you know, with the two of them, you know, getting to know yeah. each other, which, which looks cute. They'll um, fall in love, two 10 year olds fall yeah, in love. Yeah, you know, it's fine. <laughs> um, it's an easy guy. That's all perfectly guy. normal. Well, you, you know, I, I clearly, the, and that's another, oh, man. another thing I, I like about this is that it all feels very age appropriate. For you know, an eleven-year-old interacting with the adults, the adults interacting with the eleven-year-olds. I like the fact that they saw the slimes, and he said, "No, no, stop." And they're like, "Oh, okay, sorry, apologies." Right? Like, we're not going to escalate yeah. this. Totally fine. Yeah. Um, and we're not going to dismiss you as, "Oh, you're just a kid. You don't know what you're talking about." Mm -hmm. We're going to we're going to adult over here, and you go away. Exactly. Um, oh. so it felt <laughs> like the world has reasonable consequences for things that right. happen, which is which is good. Um, all right, let's move on. Let, let's not bury the lead any further. Let's move on to one of the other most anticipated anime series of the season, Higurashi. When they cry. Uh, yep. um, or, I forget the, the, the name, because it, it's announced it has a new name. Um, but this is uh, the new Higurashi series, which was Bill is a remake, uh, is clearly not a remake, because they're changing around some of the some of the story elements, um, so again we can we can, we can talk about it. What so Higurashi no Naku Koro ni Go. Go, that's right. Mm -hmm. Right, Go. Um, we were watching this thing, um, <laughs> and the entire time we're like, okay, you know, she's gonna go around the corner, and then he's gonna stab somebody, or yeah, this is gonna happen, and somebody's head's gonna fly off. And, just, duh, 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 duh. and it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Yeah. Right. The entire right. episode is built up. But you get creepy. A oh my mm. god. Yeah. Um. It it still has the vibe of the original oh, yeah. series where it, it's very. When they start talking about, uh, I'll just call it to avoid the spoilers. The incident. Mm -hmm. They, two, they, it's said to two of the characters, and they're usually bubbly characters as Mion and, and Rina. And um, they're, and they're just like, ah, da, 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 da. oh, do you know anything about this horrible incident? Ah, da, 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 da. Nothing happened. Ah, da, 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 da. And it was just a creepy yeah. tonal, just like, and you only see their mouth, and you only see it for the brief second that they say it. So it's not mm -hmm. like there's any lingering. Yeah. It's just that you notice that there's just this like psych, psychosomatic, mm -hmm. psych, psychological. I don't know. Yeah. Then it stops. Like yeah. so, it's just like it's a quick edit. It's a quick cut edit, and it's just yeah. creepy as anything. Mm -hmm. And then, so if you know the original Higarashi, you're just on edge, waiting, yeah, waiting yes. for so, what's gonna happen. So they they get to the point where she shows them the garbage area, and then you, Rena, and that's the girl in the white hat, and and okay. I'm. I can't repeat it. Can't really repeat it now. But I, the whole time, I'm just. Mm. It's the this. She's mm. blankety blank. Yeah. Blank, blank, <laughs> blank, blank, blank. I swear the effing blankety blankety blank blank blank. Mm. And it's gonna ha blanking happen. Um. So the whole time, and it's just. But it really is. You just. Yeah, you know, we were talking about foreboding in mm. in in um, uh, blood. The last vampire. Mm -hmm. 20 times that, for, at least for yeah. me, because I know what happened in the first one, and it just scarred me that right. the hell I'm back. But <laughs> it, and, and, and it and it ends with, of course, yeah. you, know, just, you go, oh, God, here it comes. So, and it, yeah. You all have probably seen the key, it's probably the, the key image of Higurashi, which is Rina, orange-haired girl with a cap, holding a giant you know, knife. Cleaver. Yeah. Right, the cleaver. That is the final image of the series, that is, or of the episode. That, that is what you see at the end of the episode. Um, so it is clear that bad things are going to happen, right? Right. Um, 
it, and, and as Brent pointed out, it is very much aware of itself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so I just got to yeah. say, I just got to say, there's, there's a moment when, like, they're searching through a, a, a trash pile, the, the trash pile, and he goes, boy, this thing forever. I wish somebody had, like, an axe or a cleaver or something around somewhere. <laughs> This is the the guy, the poor guy saying to this. Kill me it's just like, yeah. <laughs> it's just like No okay. don't wish for these things. Um Now yeah. is this is this telling mm-hmm. something where people who have seen the original Higarashi or the older Higarashi <laughs> and have now told their friends about it, mm-hmm. that people who are totally ignorant of the entirety of the thing this is their point that they can get into Higurashi, or is this? Do you have to have prior knowledge and it yeah. makes it better? You know, it, yeah. No, 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 y- no. Y- y- yeah, y- you don't need prior knowledge. Correct. You're just gonna do new and horrible things. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> so yeah. So it is apparently, again, as far as we can tell, I, I I haven't seen Beyond Episode One, um, but apparently this is a um, uh, this is going to be a retelling in the sense of it's going to be the this mm. same basic concept but not the same events okay so they're going to rewire the way things happen um so somebody can come in new to this and be perfectly right. fine with it mm-hmm. okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely uh, yeah. Yeah. well you're not yeah. going to be fine with it you know you will be scarred but, for life but, but yes exactly <laughs> uh, you at least have a clue about why you're scarred for life, not just generally yeah, exactly, scarred yeah. for life. Ah, okay, good. And so, I, so, so while we're watching this, while we're watching this, just just so you know what Brent did to me while we're watching this, periodically I'm like going, "Oh my god, this is good. It's good. Oh my god, oh my god!" And he's going, "Oh, it's so nice and peaceful, and everyone's yeah. happy, and and it's everything's fine. Everything's." I'm like thinking, "No, it's not fine. It's never going to be fine for this. <laughs> never, ever." I'll never be fine again. <laughs> um, and, and I will also say, and, and again, you're good on the show. Um, it's going to be rare for somebody to, so I, I think you're going to have sort of three, three kinds of people watching the show. Folks who have no idea what this is somehow and stumbles on this. And it does a very effective job of starting <laughs> sweetness and light and then dropping some hints that something weird is going to happen. And then, you know, that, and then, you know, hearing some strange things. And then that final image in, in episode one, where you're like, okay, this is going to be a horror show. Um, so it doesn't, you know, halfway through episode one, suddenly have somebody, you know, get their torso ripped out or something. Um, yeah. That'll come later. Yeah, that'll come later. We're worse. It's all um, the Moe fans by the end of episode right, yes. one will be like, this is so Moe, but I don't, I feel uncomfortable. For yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you'll know. But I'm already hooked. Yeah. Already hooked. <laughs> how, how bad could it be? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the second group are folks who, you know, like you are saying, have heard of Higurashi but never actually watched or experienced any of it. And I think this is a really good introduction. Where, again, you get all the Moe characters, you yeah. get to know them, you're like, oh, this is cute. But I'm seeing the little hints in there, and yes, I'm seeing the direction it's going to go in. It doesn't feel like a bait and switch in that sense. Um, yeah. And then you've got right. the Higurashi fans who are watching it going, wait, but but they're at the thing now, and they should be revealing the thing, but they're not. He doesn't know that now, and now they're moving on, so this is something completely different. So now I've got to rethink how all this plot is going to go. So it gives them something more to think about, something new to experience. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, good on that, good on yeah, that. Yeah, it, 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 you know, quality does it. No, no, I'm going to get that. Um, <laughs> all the death and destruction with little girls. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And, and So let's move on to something nicer, <laughs> happier, more pleasant. Wandering Witch. Um, A.K.A. Kiki's Delivery Service, the TV show. Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah. One of several, actually. Um, cute girl, cute little girl, cute moe girl. Wants, wants to become a witch. Becomes the a witch very, very quickly. Um, and has to go out on her um, uh, to get apprenticed. And that apprenticeship does not go the way she expects. Um, it's moe 14-year-old girl witch. You know, going through her travails as an apprentice, um, it was it was darling. It was cute. Um, I, I can't think of any other like way of describing it. Like, 
That's what it was. It, it's on. It, it's on the proper side of saccharine sweet. Yes, it, it's not exactly. It's not it's not overboard, and and you'll be surprised by a couple scenes where you go, okay, that escalated really. Yeah, <laughs> that went yeah. dark quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, you know, of course, it all resolves itself. Mm. And um, the only complaint I think I had with the episode is that I thought this particular dynamic was going to last longer mm-hmm. than the first episode. Yeah, her and Fran. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, yeah. The Stardust Witch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stardust Witch. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, but otherwise, you're watching Kiki. Yeah. It. I, I I gotta say what I think the hook for it is just exactly what you say. Mm-hmm. That's the hook because by the time now I think it's at the second episode already. Okay, um, you're you're getting some interesting stuff going on with her character. Oh, really? That you only get, looking back from only episode two to episode mm-hmm. one, you can see a little bit about it hmm. in her. Okay, she can't get her apprenticeship going. Mm. She's too smart for her own damn good. Yeah, and she's mm-hmm. naive. Yeah, and I mean, she's not willingly naive. She's mm-hmm. just literally naive because she, that she's just studied magic. That's all she's done. She's mm-hmm. never done anything or gone anywhere. That's why she's going to be a traveler. She's going to experience mm-hmm. those things in life that will give her knowledge. Mm-hmm. And you see in episode two some of the quirks of her personality mm-hmm. because of not knowing things, because of her own moral compass, is formed by her two very loving and very protective parents and her sheltered life mm-hmm. yep. that you start to see some of that develop yeah. out so it, it it's getting uh, even in only just two episodes i i enjoyed the first episode i thought it was so cute and then I, by the second one i'm like oh so we're actually gonna we're not just gonna travel around and do nice things and deliver pies yeah we're actually <laughs> going to talk a little bit about the different things that are going on cool. in the world and how you're interacting with them and how you have your own arguably lesser hangups, mm-hmm. but your own particular lens to view these things and the choices you have to make about what you think is right versus what other people in their world think is right. Mm-hmm. So it gets, it's, I'm interested to see where it goes. So nice. I, 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 good on yeah. that. Good. good on that. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that it, it does develop. Um, there was a series called Someday's Dreamers, which is basically the same premise, um, and uh, it does it does a similar kind of thing where it kind of feels like it's going to be you know whatever, and then it is actually about like okay, what are the moral implications of doing these things, and and right. you know that's that's great. Well, the girl leapt through time. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. she, you, I can change things. I can make things happen. This is great. And her own naivete leads her to doing things that have expected consequences Mm -hmm. and she has to you know deal with the implications of just -hmm. because you have this capacity does not mean that it is something that you can just throw down and be like yeah let's just go for it Mm -hmm. like no you get a little plan in here look at what's going to happen um in some days dreamers magic is actually regulated by the government like you have to fill out government paperwork before you can cast a spell for that reason, Damn. because these have consequences, and like somebody has to has to check on what you're doing because you can like rewrite reality. So, Ooh, yeah. wow. Um, speaking of consequences and rewriting reality, uh, the day I became a god. Yeah. Um, another show that is very met with much anticipation this season because it is by Jun Maeda, the arguable inventor of the crying, uh, crying game, crying girl formula. Um, uh, young man is suddenly kind of accosted by a cute little girl who proclaims herself to be God. Not just any God. Odin. Odin. Yep. What is up with the Norse God? I know there are like three <laughs> Odins this season. It's very strange. They are, there are an awful lot of like Buddhist, uh, you know, deities that they can certainly exactly, work with. You know. They can go with Hinduism. I mean, there's a billion and a half Hindu gods. Yeah. Why is it always something to do with Greek mythology or with mm-hmm. Norse mythology? Because Greek mythology and Norse mythology are foreign in Japan, and so they are exotic. So there's you know. not a lot of Hindus in Japan. Eh, fair, fair. They're, I mean, they're in the neighborhood, but yeah. not exactly next door. Yeah, that, that's true. Uh, anyway, um, so she shows up, and we get lots of 
cute Moenus for 24 minutes. Um, except for the fact that she reveals that uh, the world will end in 30 days. Uh, and yeah. so we're going to see where that develops, what exactly that means, um, because she and is very she, clear about that. Steal a Ferrari, drink she, everything you want to drink, eat at the finest restaurant, well, charge she, everything she on the credit card. Yeah. She manages to prove to the guy that she knows what she's talking about. Yeah. Like, she's able, her powers is being omniscient, so she knows what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And so she's able to prove it to him, even though she looks like she's 12 years old and dresses up like a nun. <laughs> but you know, she's able, she's able to prove this to him. And by the end of it, he he believes it, but he still, he doesn't really quite process it yet. Yeah. The world's ending in 30 days. So we think that the world's ending in 30 days. Mm-hmm. And well, I kind of said- have a 10-year-old the, girl the, god show up, yeah, it's, that's a little hard to swallow. Even if she yeah. proves that she's a god, be like, I did yeah. the- Where's the giant towering dude with the flowing beard and the robe? I mean, well, um, well see, this is where the Moe comes in, and, and exactly, it's, yeah. It's, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that that comes in. But I, you know, but then by the end of the episode, I'm kind of second guessing about what the world ends in 30 days actually means. Mm-hmm. Does it mean that the world is ending, or does it mean that his world is ending? Meaning him, mm-hmm. his, the the love interest is this, or you know. What is it? What what does this actually mean? Mm-hmm. Because he keeps saying stuff like, "I oh okay, I want to go into the same college as my love interest." Mm-hmm. And she goes, and the girl goes, "Why? The, the world's gonna be blown up by then, or not mm-hmm. blown up? Yeah. She says the world's gonna end in thirty days. Why would you want to do that?" Mm-hmm. So you know, hmm. yeah. And no, knowing... you, you can turn it into it like you're gonna hold hands with her in thirty days, so your world will end because you'll finally have a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would that would be too simple. Yeah, that'd be too easy. Yeah. Jun Maeda is is known for his tragedies. Um, he, he is known for for making it hurt. Um, yes, they gotta go well. <laughs> Angel beats. So yeah, you know, um, this 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 is gonna be a, this is gonna be a ride. Um, and they do an amazing job throughout this this show of again, if you know what's if you know Jun Maeda, you still get sucked in. You know, you, the, the yeah. girl is still really cute. The main character is, you know, very much the funny. Main character. It's funny, absolutely. Um, Actually, very funny. It's very self-aware too of the fact that, like, he doesn't immediately believe her. He doesn't, you know, immediately he's like, "So, where are your parents?" You know, now I'm gonna take you to a police box, right? Like, he's doing all the yeah, things. Are you, you lost, would do to little girl? Him. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, he does all, all those things, uh, and so we're just gonna have to see. What happens uh, with all of this? I, say, I, I watched successfully one episode of Angel Beats, then read some reviews of it and mm-hmm. read some like synopsis of it, and then watched the last few moments mm-hmm. of Angel Beats, the end, <laughs> the end part, and said, "Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get involved in that." <laughs> I, Am I, I going to be going God. through the same thing here, where yes. it's like I'm just gonna have to ride this one out, and then wait for the mm-hmm. end, and be like, "Oh, I'm glad I didn't get on the boat." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I thank God, Brent, that you said to sit and watch through the end of Angel Beast. Yeah. Because that oh. was at the end of what you think is the episode, I know I would have been. Well, you guys have heard my mouth. You, you can just imagine <laughs> what I would be like by myself with not even online. Mm. And I probably wouldn't even have a TV anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So, yeah, this. So it starts off light and funny. And airy actually is, is a word I would use for it. Yeah, yeah. she oh, and boy. she and but but knowing that who this is and where that where and he said didn't he say that he was going to write a sad thing? Oh yeah, he yeah, said he, that this he, was, he, 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 yeah. He, so he, you know yeah. it's it's just like you you almost want to go. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Just do the last episode now. Just, let's forget everything in between. Let's just <laughs> yeah. Go through the pain. Let's, let's just. Like a band-aid, just let's just rip it off. Mm-hmm. Well, there's 12 weeks or or 11 weeks. I don't know mm-hmm. whether it's going on yeah, to the yeah, second yeah. episode or not yet. So there's a couple, a few months to uh, to just wait for this on the back burner and then read the complete synopsis and then decide whether you want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, pretty much. Um, if I recall correctly, he said that um, he plans to make the saddest anime ever. Oh no! That no, is his goal no, 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 no. <laughs> with this show. Oh, God. 
So in about 12 weeks, ladies and gentlemen, in about 12 weeks, the three of us independently are going to be in our respected abodes going, <laughs> <laughs> an ugly cry for like about three hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to do something like Clannad after story times. <laughs> oh no 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 that ain't gonna happen um wow this is uh, what was it uh uh the uh, uh american dad when mm. roger was playing tearjerker and he made the world's <laughs> yeah. saddest film called <laughs> oscar gold <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like every, you know, everybody's gonna see my film and die crying. <laughs> like, this is what this guy's gonna yep. do. Like, kill us all because that's so yep. sad. Like, oh no! <laughs> he, I, if anyone can do it, he can. It's gonna be uh, a great date film. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you've seen me at my worst. Let's there go we out. Are. Yeah. Or even better, hey, there's a pretty girl across the street after I've been crying so much. Chuck good. So let's move on from sadness to <laughs> cute, fun, moiness and Kuma, Kuma, Kuma bear. Yeah. A.K.A. bear, 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 bear. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this is not really this guy, actually. It's a, um, a girl playing a virtual a, a video game. Um, a fully immersive VR video game um, where she has a she has a thing for bears so she goes around <laughs> in a bear snuggie with two little bear puppets on her hands uh, and the puppets, bear puppets of doom <laughs> exactly the bear puppets of doom uh, which are apparently especially essentially special items because you can use those to either do attacks or to, like summon bears that you can ride on and such um and she goes, they're cute bears. They're, cute bears. They're not like grizzly murdering salmon bears. Exactly. No, no. This like, is not like panda from bears. White Surf. Uh, yes, yes. Just very, randomly. just much larger. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Very much. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's cute. Again, it is one of those just cute series with this girl going off on, an, on this adventure. She basically, you know, <laughs> literally, kid runs into the adventuring guild and, you know, our village is under attack. Okay. I'll do that quest. I'll accept that quest. Send the bear girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and so so she goes off to, 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 to fight it off. What I really like about this is the fact that we actually then cut to see her in real life for a little bit. Like there's a, a uh, interlude, I think at the very end, where she, you know, finishes yeah. and then goes and, and goes about her life for a little bit. And she's just, she, she's a remarkable, but a like a 15-year-old girl who's got her life and so forth and so on. And so the video game is just a thing that she plays, right? There, there's no death on the line. There's no yeah. stuck in a magical world. She's just going off and doing that. So her attitude and, it, and all this stuff is, cool, I will often do an adventure. This is fun. I'll help these people. This is great. I'm enjoying my time. It has an uncomplicatedness that I really appreciate where it's not forcing drama on you. Um, it's not trying to manufacture drama. Uh, the drama is just in you know the scenario she's in and whether she can complete that in an effective way. Right. Um, it's just a, this you know cute um, fantasy adventure story, basically. Yeah. yeah. Do they ever address? Um, I know in Bofuri, mm. yeah, I think it's within like the first episode mm. where the girl, her character is called Maple. Mm. Maple goes into the game and she's got no armor, she's got nothing, and she's sort mm. of learning the mechanics of the game and. You know, one of those slap you in the face kind of things where it's like, oh, don't forget, Maple, in the game, it's like 24 hours in the game, but in the real world, it's only an hour. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like they address that kind of thing where it's like, oh, no. okay, I didn't really, you know, I, I don't need to know that. You know, yeah. I, I, I played games where it gets to be day and night and it's only been like two hours worth of real time. Right. Yeah. But they don't they don't go that far to be like slap you around and be like, oh, it's just a game. And these are some of the things no, in the mechanic. No, no. And she just plays for a little bit between her like light tennis club and her <laughs> studying for exams. Mm -hmm. They don't go you, that you, far. No. no, you don't get no. bogged down in the mechanics of the game. There's, as a matter of fact, I don't think you learn very much of anything about the mechanics of the game. Agreed. You no. just, uh, as a no. matter of fact, there's no, uh, there's, there's not even a die in the real world if i die here there's none of that no. there's not there's no there's like you know your character dies and your character dies and that's it and you just mm -hmm. go back in again yeah you, know, you have the, the little cheesy login screen log out screen inventory I screen i didn't, I didn't see that no oh 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's no respawn points or anything like that. It's mm -hmm. just her, just her, her in game play. Mm -hmm. the, I think the biggest takeaway from this is that is that she's using it to create relationships for herself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and 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 even that isn't really pushed on you that hard. Yeah. It's it's almost an afterthought. It, it's clear that she doesn't have a lot of relationships in her real life, um, you know, and, and, and so this is sort of the way she likes to spend her time. And so it's implied in, in what you see in sort of the opening theme song and so forth that she's going to find yeah. more people to you know, interact with in the video game. But again, it's, it's not one of those things where she's miserable and this is her one chance, you know, she's just man, right. doing this thing and she, she's fine being alone, right? She's having fun. Yeah, right. she's having fun. Um, yeah, basically, so it's, say, so it's, 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 it's Gun Gale 2 with Len, the little pink-haired, little pink-hatted girl from mm -hmm. Gun Gale 2. She's uh, uh, self-conscious about her height, mm -hmm. and she plays the game because it gave her a, a cute little chibi character. Yeah. And then her interactions with people in the game, that it broadens her actual real-world social circle. Mm -hmm. So that she has one good friend when she starts the game, mm -hmm. and when she finishes, she's friends with people that were on competing teams, she's friends mm -hmm. with the people over here, mm -hmm. and their real-life friendships develop and blossom out of mm -hmm. a sort of isolated kind of girl yeah. experience. The, so yeah, That's the sense okay. I get. I don't know how, you know, how far okay. it's going to go, but that, that seems like the, the, the general theme. Okay. But who knows? Um, I'm going to throw that on the watch list. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Besides, it's the puppets of Doom. They're yeah, awesome. I exactly. love them. Yeah. I just also, want to see a little girl in a in a kumakuma outfit with a she doesn't a take it off bare mm -hmm. bare knuckle fight. Moving right along. Thank you. To Akudama Drive, and my main note on this, I am reading. Oh my god! I wrote, Cyberpunk AF. Um, yes. This is a, a, an anime original cyberpunk anime series um, with a group of ne'er do wells all thrown together. Um, you know, last big score. I mean, maybe not even last big score. You know, next big score, probably. Right. Um, going off and doing their thing. Big budget, obviously. Very stylized. Wow. Um, and very referential things like Blade Runner, Tarantino films. Oh, God, is it? Yeah. Um... It's, it's it was I mean I was almost competing with Brent with naming science fiction <laughs> <laughs> and other enemies and you know it, it but it, it, it but it, it is like when you watch this this first episode you're gonna be like oh hey that's Blade Runner oh hey that's this oh hey that's that and it works pretty well within yeah. the thing now it, it is definitely cyberpunk um Definitely, so. and I love the world building that it's mm. in. But you okay. have to—it's—it's it's anime, okay? Yeah. It's anime, and some of the stuff you're just gonna have to accept. Yeah. Um, the murder cycle itself. I was just gonna say, yeah. you're just gonna one have the, to accept it. One of the main characters. But, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. And and and, and it's just and it's really great non-stop action and the music that they choose with mm -hmm. it to go to to accentuate it really does a good job i mean everything mm -hmm. you're right it, it's a budget behind this because everything seemed to mesh together mm -hmm. and um but it is high energy man mm -hmm. i mean i mean you, you, after watching this you're just gonna be like like uh, i'm on the ninth floor here but i think i can make it 30 feet to the next <laughs> building yeah okay i'm gonna just give it a try <laughs> you know it's, yeah. gonna go for very, yeah. it's it's very very yeah. very uh you get a shot of adrenaline a little mm -hmm. bit. But, uh, uh, what was the way that you put it brent about like I'm what the it. target audience for it oh i forget now what did i say you said that you oh um if you were you said if i was oh if oh yeah you said yeah if i was a 15 year old boy this would be the greatest anime of all time Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about the motorcycle? You were um, going to say something about a motorcycle, Brent. So one of the characters rides a like a, a Tron light cycle style motorcycle. Um, a little uh, bit like the Akira, you know, classic motorcycle. Right. That includes um, grappling hooks 
that it can fire and he can basically Spider-Man, you know, swing, swing around the city <laughs> and then to, like, drive up buildings you know, and like then unleash, right? And then, oh, okay. everything else. yeah. <laughs> I, I will say that is probably about as over the top as it gets, right? Like it's kind of, it's kind of the limit. Um, you know, the action sequences obviously are crazy. You, just have, to accept those, it. But, you just have to accept it. Yeah, you just have to accept okay. it. Yeah, you know. I, I got you. I got yeah. you. Suspend um, your disbelief. Then you, I yeah, got very you. much so. And actually, it's one of the things I want to point out. Um, I was actually, I was quite impressed. Um, Given the sort of heavily stylized character designs, the very sort of richly tapestried world of lots of you know, neon billboards, all that kind of stuff, I could follow the action surprisingly well. Yeah. Um, it's, not often, com- it's not confused. Yeah. Often it gets really muddied or it's just kind of hard to see who's where, you know, right. things are flying around. They do a really good job of making all that work, despite the fact that it's not, you know, um, a colorful fantasy Moe series with, you know, very clearly contrasting colors. Um, right. It just works, you know, surprisingly well. So good on them for that. And it's not so darkly set the background that it's difficult to ascertain what, what right. pieces right. parts yeah, are in it, there. It's not all browns, you know, yeah. Okay. Which is, which is very nice. Um, <laughs> speaking of cute, fluffy Moe series, um, the sleepy princess in the demon castle. <laughs> <laughs> this, this this would have been the best in show. I, I think for me, it, 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 if you want something light and you want to laugh and you just want to just enjoy it, 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 this is really good. This mm-hmm. is really really good. All she wants, all she wants, she's an abducted princess by evil demons and demon lord and. Mm-hmm. You know, monsters, and she's in the terrible castle where it's always stormy and lightning and everything. All she wants is to go to sleep. She just wants to sleep. That's all she wants. And she, in doing so, she winds up having the run of her captor's castle. (laughs) Okay. Because, you know. It's brilliant. I am telling you, it is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Um. it is not serious in any way, shape, or form. Um, it is just yeah. this, you know, this girl, and damn it, she's going to have a good night's sleep. And she's going to do whatever she needs yeah. to get a, to get a nice pillow. And while well, she needs this, she needs that, okay, well, she'll she'll find a way to getting that. And if that means she has to, you know, get the key out of the uh, her, her, you know, uh, guards and wander around until she finds the right stuff for her thing and then go back into her cell so she can get her sleep, she will no. do that, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Because <laughs> she just See, needs to get to sleep. With her in, in the cell, and she's looking around, and it's not really a bad cell. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's mirrors, and she's, she's like, you know, I'm getting three nice meals a day, and they are nice meals. Yeah. The other thing is is that they look, they okay. look really good. And, and she goes, I get three nice meals. I get pretty much whatever I want. Um, I don't. I'm not back in my kingdom, so I don't have to work. And so I get to. If, but if I would, but it, I can't sleep. And I just first it's the pillow, then it's the blanket, then it's the bed, and then it's the noise, and then it's this, and it's that. And she doesn't care what ghost she she has to maim with a giant <laughs> pair of scissors. To get what she wants. That's wait, wait a minute. Does. Did you say maim a ghost with giant scissors? Yeah. Maim a sheet ghost with giant scissors. Yeah. And and, and I don't want to spoil okay. how she gets the key. <laughs> that was just brilliant and awful at the same time. <laughs> and it keeps happening over and over and over again. And you're just like, ew. <laughs> What the hell? Yeah. Um, in the most cutest way possible. Yeah. I, that's the that's the best way I can describe. Mm-hmm. So, what's the target for this? Is this for like little kids? Is this Cynical. a relaxing, just kind of goofy little something? Remember fractured fairy tales? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it, All right. So definitely, you know, young kids can enjoy it. You know, the, the 
the monsters are sort of yokai esque monsters, where it's you know, right. um, it, it's an oni or it's a, it's a, a living sheet or whatever. So it's not like scary, scary. Um, it's the kabu kabu guy. It's a big chunk of wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but I think <laughs> it, it is also aimed for you know, it's lunchtime. I want to watch some anime. I don't want to have to think. Right, I just okay. want something cute and fun and yeah. silly. That is just gonna go. You know, there's no plot. It's just you know, uh, this this premise sort of being executed on um, and having okay. fun with it. Um, yeah, cute, 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 oh. cute, cute, cute. I'll throw that down on the watch yeah. list. Yeah, okay. it's it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, is he is the chat back up? I just um, saw that the chat. I am is, seeing uh... um, my 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 chat seems stuck. Um, but there uh, may be more. We we will. I'll. I don't know if I can change anything there, but uh, that is uh, what I see at the moment. Um, uh, well, mm -hmm. well. In any event, watch this anime. Anime because <clears throat> it is. It's, it's fun. Cute. It's cute. It's very cute. It's cute. It's fun. In a disturbing way. Yeah. Uh, moving on to what I would say was the, in a sense, the biggest surprise for me of the season. Which was gymnastic samurai. Um, yes. In the sense of a show that started in in one direction and went in directions I did not expect. Um, <laughs> Which, yeah. It's hard to imagine what directions they go with gymnastics. Well, samurai. I'm glad you said that, John, because this begins <laughs> with a male gymnast who is essentially, you know. At the end of his career, like he just, you know, he he's hurt himself enough. He just can't continue. He's gonna have to retire, and so he decides to retire. And he's one of the last. He's one of the last Japanese to actually medal. Correct. In Olympic events. Yeah. For for gymnastics. Yeah. Um, okay. Just, and that. Was, yeah. Um, and he has a um a young daughter. Like preteen daughter, his his wife's passed away, and he's gonna have to tell his daughter that he's gonna have he's gonna have to retire. And she loves her daddy. She loves the fact that he's a gymnast. She loves all this stuff. She's a nice kid. Like she's not gonna you know she's not. Um, it isn't her whole world. Like she wants what's best for him. But it's always gonna be a right. tough 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 thing. And he keeps trying to find a way of telling her, and can't kind of can't, can't, kind of can't quite do it. So they go to, um, was it um, Edo Showcase, Edo something or other? Edo Wonderland. Edo where they Wonderland. Just, yeah, where they, they showcase mm -hmm. uh, Edo in in uh, feudal era times. It's yeah. actually a kind of neat concept. Yeah, and, and it actually yeah. exists. Um, you, you can go there and it has sort of all these these things set up and you can like, sort of wear you know, traditional Japanese garb and run around and so forth. And it's, you know, um, that kind of thing. He takes her there. Puts peasants down with the samurai. Sword. Exactly. Yes, you can do that. Um, and, ah. they, and, and they have you know street performances of samurai and ninja. She loves ninja, which is good, because they suddenly come across a ninja being pursued by three black suited agents. Who go after deportation her. agents? Yeah, deportation agents. Uh, where, where she goes, oh look, an agent, an agent. I wonder if it's Agent Smith. Um, <laughs> that, 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 wrong thing. Uh, <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> and so, the, you know, they run off. Um, this ninja that they come after shows up at his house and begs for asylum from the family, which they ultimately agree to let him stay there. And every time the protagonist tries to tell his daughter that he's retiring, this guy interrupts and changes the subject. Yeah. This is a weird direction for this show to yeah. take. Yeah. Um, oh, it's a MAPA. It's a MAPA work. So that's, there's always going to be something like really kind of freaky about it. Mm -hmm. And so he goes to the press conference where he announces that he is going to retire not. That's what he says. Mm -hmm. He's just about to retire, say he's going to retire, and then he says 
I'm not going to retire. Okay. And by the way, the ninja displays very good gymnastic skills yes. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and so, you know, you see the beat, the formation of a team happening. Mm -hmm. and, you see some but kind of thing happening. like when we went into it, when we went uh, into it, I thought it was going to be, when we went into it, I thought it was going to be like a, um, you know, another sports anime yeah. kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. and, right. and, and then at a certain point, it just turned left and turned off the planker. Yeah. You know, it it, it you know, that just, it just went off in a totally different direction. There's also the big bird. It's good. I liked it. There's a what? Oh god, I hate it. That's a, there's a, this yeah, you know what? I hated it so much. I blanked it out of my memory. Thank you for putting it back in my head. What was it? Oh my god. There's, it's a three foot tall fat parrot with a heart on its chest and it's goofily drawn and it's loud as hell and it's just obnoxious and I just want it to die. A three foot tall parrot. And it lives in their in their apartment yeah. with them and like does big, things. big bird aragaki. I, I don't know <laughs> that is. apparently that's apparently what they call it okay. in my anime. There we go. Big, there big we are. bird aragaki. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. okay. And it's just there and it's completely out of place for the, the tone of this retiring gymnast who's trying to confess that he's, you know, retiring to his daughter and this thing. It's just what? Why? I don't understand. What? It's like a parrot with, it's a parrot with Tourette's. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's a hard, yeah. that's a hard selling point on this show with that thing. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. It's, it's odd. That's the only really bad thing about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, huh. it, and it's also interesting because um, it is played very serious in the sense that like none of the yeah. characters are over the top. It, it feels very much like a like like a live action drama, right? Of this this these yeah. characters dealing with this thing. Um, but then there's the weird parrot and then ninja that's living in their house and is like doing ninja mm -hmm. things. Like, like, <laughs> Poof, disappearing. Like, like they come in. They come in to eat breakfast, and they're sitting there, they're talking, and then they stop for a moment, and they kind of look up into the ceiling, and <laughs> yeah, he's up there in the corner. <laughs> he's like stuck on the corner. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? So I, yeah, I don't know. Like I enjoyed. I was fascinated by it. I want to see where it goes, um, but it's just so many different things woven together yeah. into the show. Yeah. Um, now I was very surprised by the outro song. Mm. Um, it was Orange Range, um, yeah. Shanghai Honey, and but it was a cover of it. It wasn't Orange Range themselves. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was done a cover by the of that voice song. actors. Mm. Is it? Yep. Okay. Um, but you know, for those who don't know, Orange Range they did Asterix for Bleach, mm. the intro for a few. I think that was the intro song for like two or three seasons. Mm. Um. It's a good song, actually. If you listen to the original, it's a good song. It's a fun song. But the ending sequence, credit sequence, is totally not what you see in mm -hmm. the rest of the anime. And and it's them in bright lights, Tokyo, and kind of losing as the song is going and yeah. lip syncing to it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, I guess, showing you what is the future for the anime. <laughs> I guess you know i you know yeah. energy high energy high positive energy mm -hmm. but um I, I was kind of thrown off about it but i i think i'll still watch it even though i i hate that damn parrot <laughs> um <laughs> you tell it a little bit um mm -hmm. but, uh, i'll keep watching it just because it's just it took that turn mm -hmm. and but the weird thing is that it took that weird turn but it still fits all yeah. of it still fits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And they did such a good job of of nailing that relationship between the father and the daughter. That like I just want to see where that goes. Like I'm 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 in it yeah. just for kind of that that thing. Uh, or I'm curious about that thing. Okay. Um speaking of relationships, Adachi and Shimamura, our Yuri series of the season. Uh yes. Mm -hmm. Um I yeah, go for it. <sighs> okay, well, well said. No, no, no. It's, it's, I, I'm a sucker for this mm -hmm. type of 
very for, it's it's formulaic as heck mm-hmm. and bought into it i mean yeah. it's you know yeah you know, just it, <laughs> it reeled me and hooked me in and the whole time i'm just like i don't know if you saw me on 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 the zoom but i was like literally at the table just like <laughs> yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm invested, and you know, this, very much so. So I'll I'll be watching this, but of course I'm biased because these are the type of things yeah. I like. Oh, so. absolutely! It's it's yeah. cute in that sense of just seeing two characters bonding, you know, and and seeing their relationship start to form together, um, and and they clearly have this this very sweet you know relationship with each other, um, you know, feelings uh, uh, to uh, to each other. Um, the Yuri aspect is, I would say, um, clearly foreshadowed in the yeah. sense that, you know, it, it's clear that they're developing feelings for each other, but there's nothing, you, you know, they, they don't um, they don't push that to the foreground this early in the show because uh, yeah. they're kind of just getting to know each other. Um, it's, it's very natural and organic yeah. in how they're developing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's some interesting stuff around just general sort of friendships, forming friendships, what that means, you know, um, particularly around like other groups of friends. And like just because you're friends with these people doesn't mean you're friends with those people and all that kind of complexity around that. Yeah. Um, qu- again, impressive animation budget for a, you know, basically just girls hanging around chatting um, where you, know, you don't need the budget, but you need the budget for all of the facial reactions for the movements of how they they you know go from one place to another it just kind of sells the the reality of it uh oh, which i really yeah. appreciated um and especially just see the, kind of detail the character designs as i say i see the studio is tezuka ah tezuka productions yeah yeah so they, they're they're putting okay. the effort into it definitely mm-hmm. um so yeah sweet relationship series um huh? definitely definitely fun there I'm assuming it's not going to go like suddenly dramatic and like it high might. energy. It's... It, it, I mean, it, it certainly might go dramatic. I, I can see it taking a turn, you know, later on where they're, you know, they're not sure about how they feel about each other or somebody has to, you know, move across country or something. I can see it going in that direction. But not like somebody died or there's a giant earthquake and it doesn't seem that way. You know, no. at yeah. risk of being killed. Yeah, okay. no, no, no. Yeah. 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 Not that kind of drama. Melodramatic right. as opposed to... Melodramatic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Japan's not sinking in this exactly, one. Exactly, yes. <laughs> that film could sink off the face of the planet for my concerns. Mm-hmm. Or that series. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, my action movie is, is impressive in its own right. But anyway. Um... I, I can't think of a transition for this one. Hypnosismic division rap battle. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so to understand yeah. this anime, it is worth understanding its context. Yeah. Um, this is a, a multimedia franchise of rapping voice actors where <laughs> these voice actors are in teams. They, they release rap albums and um, rap contests, rap battle albums, and then the public votes on which ones they think won, which team they think wins, and that all becomes the other thing. Um, hugely successful on the, or- the or- or- Oricon number one for multiple CDs in this franchise. So obviously successful. 18 different voice actors involved. And this is the anime of that. Uh. <laughs> So it's just it's basically voice actors doing rap battles for you know twenty four minutes with the thinnest tissue of plot. Yes, the yeah. plot is 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 so um, plot. Wonder- there was a plot. Detailed. There was a plot. Um, so basically, oh. so basically, the the ruling party, which is the the word party, has decided that word. all weapons that, that that there will be a cessation of creation of of lethal weapons of any kind and that all disputes and all police activity and all whatever if, instead of armed conflict in our rap mm-hmm. yep oh yep that's Ooh. what happens so you get so you're introduced to the different uh, rappers i don't even want to call them rappers <laughs> yeah 
the 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 boy bands that mm. talk in the mics. And that's oh that's the other thing is that the mics are somewhat weaponized in that the winning rapping side is able to stun, knock out, or hypnotize the other side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Able to take the other side out non lethally. With the force of their rap. Right. And so, you know, so you're, you're introduced to each of these groups and the characters in each of these groups. And, like, at one point, there's, like, a hostage, oh. nurse taking a hostage with a guy holding a knife to her throat. Mm-hmm. And the police are standing there, unable to do anything because they can't right. rap. Right. But the doctor in the hospital figures out that this is happening, and his two friends run up there, and they save the woman by rapping. Mm-hmm. Yo. And by the way, they're all insanely pretty boys. Of course, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, the, so the yeah. the record the record company said we have all these rappers. Is there a way we could put a an anime together that has them in it? No. Oh, let's the, get the, the a thing. plot. Let's get a no, plot put together. No, oh, don't worry about that. No, no, no. no remember, these are right. not rappers. These are voice actors. Voice actors who were well, they're hired in this. <laughs> right. Who were hired to to rap. So they, they're not even, this isn't even and, their job. You know, this isn't even, like, this isn't even their original thing. They just started voice acting, and then they're like, we need to hire you to be part of this project to to rap for us. Uh, mm. Somebody's somebody's just <laughs> not doing something right. No, the, oh, oh, they're doing all the things right <laughs> because they're making all the money. Like, this is hugely it's successful. Just, it's working. It's just terrible. <laughs> The bit that we watched, it was just like, why? Why is this a thing? <laughs> it, 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 it's... Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. So you have different stereotypes. You have mm-hmm. the, 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 the... The pretty boy. The pretty military boy. guy. The pretty boy, the pretty boy, the pretty boy. The, the, boy, the pretty boy and the pretty boys and the pretty boys and the pretty yep. boys. Some wear leather, some wear don't. Some <laughs> are models. Some are... Most of them are models. You have a you have a doctor in there. You have um, um, guys who have contact lenses so that their eyes are different colors. Mm-hmm. And it's folks. It's Japanese rap. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Yeah, yes. done by people who don't rap. <laughs> two things about this though. Two things. Two, two things. Um, one. Um, props to the translators because yeah. they oh, rhyme yeah. mm-hmm. all of these things, which I'm sure don't rhyme the same way in the Japanese. So they actually make it seem like it is rhyming rap. You know, kudos to you. One other good thing to come out of this anime, easiest cosplay ever. Yep. <laughs> this is all street clothes. It's all hoodies and jeans. Do that, you're done. You're good. Uh, All you need to do is buy hey, a mic and, and jewel I'm cosplaying it, it right now. There we are. Exactly. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. And I can't rap either. <laughs> there you go. How realistic. And I've got the headset on. Everything. There we are. Um, <laughs> the final anime that we watched, at least today, was Warlords of Sigdrufra. Some <laughs> something, um, which is uh, Moe girls piloting World War One and World War Two planes against alien creatures. Basically, brought to you, brought to you by the god Odin. Odin. <laughs> Why not? The theme of today's season, of this season's anime, is brought to you by the North, oh, North Pantheon. <laughs> oh. There you go. Odin sponsor no Tokyo Day o Kurishimas. Hi. Again, high budget, definitely. Um, a lot of money going to this series. Um, I cannot recall a single shot that wasn't like, wow, nicely done. Um, yeah, cute girls piloting vintage military aircraft. We were saying kind of like girls in Panzer, you know, military aircraft otaku, moe otaku, cross. This is your show. Boom. Yep. Here you go. Um, <laughs> it, it is that. Um, the magnificent Kotobuki. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Very much like that. 
Um, we were saying though one of one of the the weird issues about it is that um, there is not a single surprise in that first episode. Uh, like you know exactly where it's going, you know exactly what's going to happen. Okay, yes, and then this. Okay, and then and she says this. Yep, like it is just all the way through, and not in a not in a bad way, um, but just in a very predictable way. Where it's like, okay, yes, you know she's going to have that crisis now. And then that person's going to say the thing to pull her out of that, you know, and just, yeah, it's just, it is kind of that thing. Yeah. Meanwhile, they're going to battle against this <clears throat> mythical giant pillar things and, and giant mm -hmm. monsters, kaiju, and the, the, the F 22s and such that are flying in the world now they nuke it and that just seemed to repair one of the monsters uh, and so the only way to combat this is with these vintage aircraft now what were we saying flying top speed 120 miles per hour yeah, for five yeah. and you know and so you know here are these top fighter fighter pilots throwing out missiles and high you know speed aircraft and they're just getting slaughtered and while these little white girls me mm -hmm. airplanes with soaring machine engines you know just yep. kind of going through there <laughs> and, and blowing stuff up yeah. and to be clear yeah they have magic like i i'm sure there's some line somewhere in one of these things that says oh yeah we magically enhance the planes so that uh, but it, it you know Still, the the mind can't get over the fact that you have a biplane flying with a you know like a Messerschmitt flying with an you know a a, F, a Raptor staying in the same speed with each other. It's just really hard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like I said, we were watching. You know, watching it. Watch it's like, oh, well, that Raptor can go at stall speed. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> and even then, that's like 500 I, miles an hour compared to the biplane. Like, I... yeah. As, as you're watching it, and you're just kind of going, my head hurts. Just accept it. No, I yeah. can't. <laughs> no, it's, you don't have to get through this. Just accept it. I can't. Mm -hmm. Your and, head starts and, hurting. And granted, my head hurt during Girls and Panzer with the firing live rounds at each other. Uh, but that's fine because it just <laughs> no, it a little go. white. You know, it'll be fine. <laughs> You know, um, running around well, that with the Carl, that Carl Mobile mortar thing, yeah, and it's launching like sh <laughs> like battleship shells, and the tanks just flip over. A little little white flag comes out. And it's like I would have killed all of you and blown you to smithereens. Okay, we well, reduced to a crimson stain. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. You know. we survived. And you were uninjured when a tank rolled over. Yeah, so even, you, know, you know. Even if the tank blunted the shrapnel shredding you to death, <laughs> you still pop out of the, the hatch at some point. You're like, whoo, that's, that's a little rough rolling downhill in a tank. Okay. okay. I yeah. guess. And, and, and Miho prefers to, you know, to, to see things from outside and just ride around on the top of a tank. That's not dangerous. Yeah. It's fine. So, you know, fair enough. It, it's weird. Suspend that disbelief. Suspend that disbelief. Just enjoy the show. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and and I will also say, um, if you can also get past the fact that again, it, it is sort of weirdly sort of manufactured war nostalgia for fun, which is a little odd. Um, yeah. It is kind of an inoffensively, you know, cute girls fighting off aliens kind of a premise. You know, it is very fun as that. Um. Uh, it is anime original with the uh, manga series um, coming off of it. Uh, if anyone's curious about that, um, I'm I'm sorry. Um, um, uh, oh, uh, as well as light novel series as well. Um, so those are all uh, options. Uh, so that is everything we we saw today. Was there anything else you guys saw that I missed in the list? Well, the, what the about the e Ikebukuro Westgate Park? Oh, we saw oh, that yeah. one too. Oh, yeah, yeah too. we missed that one. Thank you. G boys, the G boys. As I say, yeah. As I say, because I, 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 that's where I segued into. Well, no, was it the rap battle that I showed up for? <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> I, I think I got in at the rap battle. I think that's where I showed up. Yeah. Right okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. 
So yeah, we were very uh, intrigued by Hikimakuro Westgate Park. Um, based on some mystery novels, definitely um, more sort of grounded than a lot of the other other stories. Uh, basically about a, a good gang, if you will. <laughs> um, you know, trying to do good for their for, uh, for, for the neighborhood. So, so they do the good crimes. They yes. just do a little bit of fraud and right. you know, fuckery and things like that. They don't do the murder stuff. No. That's, well, maybe, but yeah. for good reason. Check you know. kiting, uh, uh, polite muggings. Polite, yeah, polite exactly. muggings. May, may I, may I please have your money? <laughs> <laughs> Planting evidence on the people don't who really deserve it. Don't make me have to ask you. To... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, victimless crimes. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um... And the second thing that we, we, we talk about is that it's it's actually pretty unusual to see anime and manga about, like, actual street crime, about, like, street gangs, which certainly exist. Yeah. Um, and when they exist in anime and manga, they're usually either sort of over the top, right? Like, they're the gang that shows up to threaten the main character and kind of disappears or whatever. Um, right. Kicking the puppy or what have you. Um, and to actually deal with the fact that, yeah, these gangs exist, they're around, they're functional, like they, they stick around and they do things, um, is pretty remarkable. Um, and the idea that they're kind of trying to kind of keep the lid on worse things uh, is, a, is a neat concept. Yeah, which is kind of it's, uh, it's odd. I can't think of any time <laughs> that. Or, well, would you consider Hina Matsuri? Would you consider that trying to keep a lid on things? Because uh, yeah. she goes and... Sure. Blow, you know, blows all the guys out of the competitors' <laughs> building, out of the windows, and that's stopping worse things. True, yeah, I, 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 that's, that's another one. That's another one of those. Um, but yeah, so you know, uh, crime-focused stories are not that not common in terms of like real crime. Yeah. Um, and I did enjoy the characters. Um, I thought it was a, a nice, yeah. nice set of characters. Um, Steve, you mentioning Dura Ra Ra. Um, yeah. and I think it has kind of that vibe of large cast of characters all inter- interacting, um, and uh, a little weirded out that they were, you know, they they let the ten year old girl tag along with them and all of these dangerous things. Yeah. Uh, but you know, anime. <laughs> anime. Uh, I ch- I chose the least obstacles for our path. Now jump from that building to this building, the little girl. Go jump. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> But you're doing it because you're such a kind-hearted gangster that right. you want her to have a sense of accomplishment and closure. Exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you bring her into a deadly situation so that she can experience that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and that'll make her have PSD for the rest of her life. Yeah. That's like PTSD. That's, she, that's why. But, but, but she will remember you fondly as the father that she never had. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, folks. And that's a that's a beautiful hallmark moment right there. <laughs> Worth it in and of itself. <laughs> yeah. You're such um, a thug. I wish you were my dad because I don't know what happened to my real dad. You may have killed him and I don't know. But, you know hey. <laughs> I love you like a daughter. And yes, I did kill your father. Season finale. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Remember when I told you to jump between buildings? <laughs> He wasn't in as good a shape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, interesting premise, um, again, effective cast of characters, I think, for the kind of story they're trying to tell, um, and kind of refreshing to just have something a little different from what we're used to. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that was the list. Hopefully we didn't miss anything else. Um, I'm going to skim back through real quick. Uh, anything that was you original, guys Originals, not sequels. Correct. Originals, not sequels. Yes. Um. I was going to say, because you had, you know, uh, Ron to pick up Don Machi, Ron to pick right. up Girls in the Dungeon, you had Haikyuu, mm-hmm. you had uh, Irregular Magic High, you had a bunch of stuff that's now second season or third season yeah. that's mm-hmm. also launched. Attack on Titan. No Gun, No, gun, no Life, yeah. which really surprised me, because I yeah. didn't like I didn't like the first season, mm-hmm. or I, I didn't really like it that much. I mean, I, at first I thought it was interesting, because the guy had a revolver for a head, but, you know, mm-hmm. at a certain point it was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> and did you guys you did you review what is it Muno na Nana? Um, I'm looking at that now. That looks familiar. Um, we must not have gotten Earth, to it. Earth assaulted by monsters that would come to be known as the enemy of humanity. Does not no. look familiar. No, we didn't get to it. 
Let's say licensed by. Give me one from us. We did nine hours today <laughs> from Studio Bridge. Yeah. Um, hey, you guys, you guys trooped it through like like mad dogs. You go, yeah. guys. You go. I my claps to you. Thank you. We also missed the Moriarty show, which I was kind of curious about as well. Oh, yeah. I meant to um, ask about that too. Yeah. Um, skimming back through the well, list. There's... One thing you can always say is there will be more anime. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Always that. Um, uh, also, not going to see Assault Lily. Uh, Assault Lily, the, the bouquet. Uh, or is that a sequel or something? Nice. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Um, I I don't know if it is a, a, a sequel to anything. I know I just sort mm-hmm. of clicked into it because I was thinking, yeah, you know, I'll give it a shot to the Magic Girl, you know, genre and mm-hmm. see what I get out of it. Um, okay. Your main protagonist is a well-meaning sweet girl and all that jazz mm-hmm. uh and you know she meets the sort of reluctant standoffish senpai who you know she has to forge a bond with and get closer mm-hmm. to but the senpai is distant because of things mm. and you have girls who are also enamored with the senpai and mm-hmm. they are trying to get close to the senpai but end up accidentally getting close to the protagonist uh... and there's some, that little kind of yuri thing kind of going on in there where it's mm-hmm. like uh, Okay, the camaraderie of you know co-combatants as well as the mm. oh you're so cute I love you let me hug you mm-hmm. kind of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Um, so far it, the combat action scenes are not particularly greatly done. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're entertaining enough, but they're not very detailed. Okay, yeah. so it's just kind of it's sort of flat. It's a flat effect. They, mm-hmm. they there should have been more interesting action in those fights mm. and it just kind of comes off as in like eh you know I, I know exactly all the things that are being telegraphed here you're mm. not going to have you know these new characters any of them die but you could die we know because mm, you know there's yeah. people have died but we're not going to see this today mm. so you're going to win this fight or at best it's going to be a draw and everybody's going to come together you know, as a, this collective unit to support one another in a crisis. And mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, I get it. I get mm-hmm. I get where that's gone. Yep. Um, it'll be just, it'll be a nice show to watch when you're waiting for the next episode of something to come out. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't really honestly say it'd be a frontline show to look forward to. Fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, there's a reason why I got a 6.39 on <laughs> my anime <laughs> list. Yeah. I gave it a six too. I said it was fine. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But that's that's exactly that. Is a, I, it's interesting enough that I will fill it in when mm-hmm. I'm not able to get to the other episodes of stuff. So mm-hmm. it'll be fine. Gotcha. Um, how about uh, um, Assault Lily? Uh, um, uh, Gochuman wa Usagi Deska Bloom. Yeah. Oh, that's the oh, no, that's the next season of Is the Order is a Rabbit. Ah, uh, okay. That's why we didn't so see that. That's a continuation. Gotcha. Um, which which is still damn cute. Okay, fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, Real Romanesque. We did not see. I know you got a chance to to see that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I, I thought it was fine. I, it reminded me of Girls and Panzers a little bit. You know, cute mm-hmm. girls doing. And don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying it sucks. I'm not saying it sucks. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't think yeah, I'm going it, that. No, far. it's fine. It's, it, it's fine. It, it, I, it, I just had you in mind when I was watching. I was just like, when? <laughs> I think he, he might like this. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I do certainly like the Moe girls. The girls mm-hmm. are, are done adorably. Yeah. You know, they look great in their. I can, I, can see your, awesome. I can see your point though if you're not if you don't mm-hmm. you're not a train fan or a rail fan or or anything mm-hmm. like that if you don't know what that means then that's okay yeah. um, because, because if you did then you would understand why I like it mm-hmm. but um, it really is just a filler and if you're not really into those things it's really hard I you know I get mm-hmm. your point it's it's really hard to see why you would be invested even those three minute ep- episodes, why you would be right. invested in, in, into something that to you might not be okay. So we're trying to sell stuff, you know, mm-hmm. kind, of, kind yeah. of stuff, yeah. kind of a thing. So, but if you, if you are kind of a, a, a railroad fan or a rail fan or a train mm-hmm. fan, what, you know, whatever you classify yourself as, you 
definitely want to watch this because it's kind of funny in, in a way. And the girl who, who but loves, I, bugs, but the girl who loves bugs cracks me up. Right, but I, I, it's it's so. It, it's it would be one thing if you were talking about the rail lords, the the physical right, yeah, representation yeah, yeah. of a rail line. You said you said something like the Trans Siberian Railway, right. mm-hmm. or you said the Orient Express. <clears throat> but Rail Romanesque is ex- it entirely niche market Japan. Mm-hmm. So it's talking about the you know like I said the, the like the Yamagata electric rail three five seven R twelve. I don't know what those numbers mean. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I yeah. I don't. And all of the rail lords are all these little independent rail lines mm-hmm. in different sections of Japan. And it's like Japan, unless right. you are a specific railhead for Japan. Right. You're just you, the, you'll enjoy mm-hmm. three minutes of just cute girls talking about stuff together. Mm-hmm. That's like you, it's hard to take away from that. Be like, oh my gosh, yeah, I remember I rode that rail line. I had to right. get off here and there. It was this smaller train. It was older. It, that's not something you know. Right. Sitting here on the east coast of the United mm-hmm. States, that I necessarily had ever an experience to understand <laughs> what that means with that rail line. So it was just right. it's difficult to engage it other than just looking at it visually and being like. I got three minutes again before the ramen's done. So <laughs> I'm just going to sit here. Okay, they're talking. Oh, she's got a hat. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I hear that. Uh oh. I may have internet issues. Um, looks like the Discord has is having issues with me. Let me just double check and make sure I'm going okay um, on the other side. Um, pardon, apologies for. Momentary technical difficulties. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, I may have an issue there. Okay. Um, I am here. One second, guys. Uh, there we are. I was like okay. talking. I was just like, wait a minute, everybody. Wait, what? Yeah. What, what? What happened? Some sort of internet glitch happened there, but I think we're all back now. Um. Well, it's to say it was interesting because on YouTube, Brent was moving and Steve and I were stuck in <laughs> Discord. I was moving, Brent and Steve were stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's a weird thing going on there. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so that was that's the, the thought on Rail Roman asked. Three mm-hmm. minutes is yeah. enough to get ramen done and Yep. Great. Fair. Uh did you guys get a chance to see Ochikobore Fruit Tart, the Moe Idol series? No, no, but I did hear yeah. that name recently. I saw mm-hmm. something about fruit tart, and looks, I didn't. It looks cute, you know. Um, four girls who are uh, show business dropouts discover their dorm is going to get demolished. If they have to start a new, form a new idol group as a uh, as for cute boy girls, because that's how that works. Um, other studio than studio feel, hmm, yeah. Huh? Not sure. Um, yeah, I think that's the whole list. Um, oh, Studio Field did um, Snafu. Oh, that's right. Interesting. Snafu, mm. Kiss, Kiss by Sis, Mayochiki. Oh no, you also got No Sora. Oh boy. Oh good. <laughs> oh, they did Dagashi Kashi. Ah. And Hina Matsuri. Yeah. Oh look at that. Okay. There you go. Yeah, there that's go. that'll be. Yeah, I I would like to hear somebody in chat who's seen Fruit Tart, any part of it. Yeah, let us know. Be, I'm I'm curious be... about that one. Yes, looks cute and fun. Um, yeah, yeah. There's always something we we just don't get to, um, or at least I don't get to because that's just the the nature of things. Uh, cool. Yeah, that is all I've got. Yeah, more haunted tech. That is that is kind of the nature of of the internet sometimes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's all. It. There's no anime history this week. Um, nothing that I had on my list um, in terms of notable. Uh, interestingly enough, there was anime, and it it yes. happened historically. Yes, <laughs> there was anime in history, just nothing, nothing on the list for for this week. Um. Cool. I think that will do it then for us for the night. 